Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Am I live? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You'd think I'd have figured this stuff out by now, but you know me. I don't think. <laughs> Rhonda, Tornado, Sarah. Hello, hello, hello. I'm trying to be at build anticipation. Yeah, yeah, fashionably late. Fashionably late. All right. Let's get up, Wordle, to warm us up, to get us in the spirit and the mood. Got a bit of a sore throat today, so I don't know how much talking I'm going to be doing and how long I'm going to go for, but we will do our best. We will do our best. Okay. All right. Let's start with Tornado got a two. All right. Let's start with Twixt for that. That's my, that might be what Tornado started with. <laughs> well, probably not. Um, let's try Child. Wow. Okay, we missed out two. Um, maybe R in the second spot. Um, like Brick. No, no C. Brian. Brian. Is my screen really small? What do you mean, my love? Is, I think it's okay. Screen's okay. Hmm. 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 Uh, Spire could be it. And it is. Easy four. Easy four. Easy four. Easy four. Hmm. Alrighty. On to the junior, everybody. We got a lot of fun planned for today. So don't you worry about it. If you're going, Tom, is there any fun planned for today? Well, don't you worry, everybody. We got a lot of fun planned. How are you, uh, Rhonda and Tornado and Sarah? How is everybody? How's your week been? Let's, let's, let's get this one. I'm going to start with Arm. Happy. Zebra. Mm, maybe an animal or a plant. Rose. Zebra is pretty good. Um, dog. Not bad bad maybe elephant is the elephant in the room the elephant's not in the room dogs are a lot better pet friend man weather dog dog what is the secret word on this one secret word word words not too bad language hmm Solve, computer, dog, cat, dog's better than cat, man's best friend, leash, walk, you walk a dog, leash is pretty good, collar, collar, something a dog wears, <laughs> or maybe a bit of clothing, um, jewelry, I think that's one spelling of jewelry. Rhonda, you're well. How did your um your church stream go, Rhonda? Did it go okay? No technical issues? I remember you were looking after that one. Park is a good guess. Shirt. Ah, oh, yeah, we are something you wear. That's interesting. Or we're related to something you wear. But jewelry is rubbish. Let's try pant. Let's try pant. Let's try pant. Have we had pant before in the junior? Or maybe we had it in the senior. Because I remember specifically... I remember specifically getting it and thinking it was a bit weird that the word was pant because it always automatically takes plurals and turns it into a single. So pants always turned into pant. I'm sure we've had that. Yeah, I know there's only 200 and something junior puzzle so maybe we're actually into the loop now which would be a shame which would be a shame how hard is the senior i don't know we're gonna find out though tornado we are gonna th find out big shout out to tornado who's help been helping me procure new wordle likes so we're gonna get to some of those a little bit later we are at puzzle 350 thousand similarity is 22 that's quite low and a bit of a worry, pant, good, 
Good is good. Great is not as good. Awesome is worse. Bad is bad compared. Amazing. Oh, can I move my screen? Yeah, what am I doing, Tom? I should be just down here. There we go. I was like this for the junior as well. What am I doing? What is this? What is this stream quality? There we go. Let's make myself a little bit bigger. Take up some more space. Good. True. True. Fact. True. Truth. True. Um. Known. Understood. Let me pop out chat so I can make sure I have you all in my eyesight. Real false. Good words, good words. True. It's true. It's, it's, it's important. Unimportant. Fake news. Accurate. Oh, I like that. Mm. Factual. True. It's reviewed. <laughs> it's checked. Something is true. It's good. It's great. It's what? Credible. Ooh. Incredible. Incredible better than credible. Isabella, good to see you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have another solvent on board. Solve solution. True. True, good, great. Found, lost. Fendo, you're playing with your pet worm. I'll let you get away with that one. <laughs> Only just barely. Um, <laughs> whoops, sorry, the shakes, everybody. Best genuine. I really need to find a um, solution so that I'm not actually typing on my desk. Because I don't like, you know, camera shake warning alert. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't think it's good for the production. I don't think it's nice to watch. Best, right? Best, genuine, great guesses. Ideal. Our oh, ideal is such a good guess. I reckon that's going to be our best one so far. No, not bad though. I was ingenuine about my spelling a genuine, Isabella. <laughs> Silly me. Silly me. Um, true. Still true's the best. Come on, matey. Why is true the best? Reported. There is waving. Wave. Waved. Um, infected. It sort of does feel like we're a past tense verb. But I don't know if that's just me being a little silly. Fact, factual. Fictitious. Novel. Um, rare. Unique. Uncommon. Ah, are we about commonality? Unique. Perfect. Hey, Twa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you, matey. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Source. Research. Proper. Investigate. Investigated. You might have some connection problems, but you try to be here. Well, thanks for m trying to make make it here, even if um, you know you have things beyond your control. But it's good to see you anyway. Different, different. Ah, oh, same, 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 same. Different. Joe, welcome. Good to see you, matey. Exact, trusted, unique. Ah, oh, different is so good. Different, separate. 
Oh, Tom. I always spell separate wrong. It's so weird. This first A. I just cannot process it. Similar. Well done, Isabella. That's the word. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it. You said it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I felt it in me waters. I felt it in me waters. Well done, Isabella. This is for you. 24 karat gold, baby. Pure gold. <laughs> I'm going to keep making that joke, even though it's really, really stupid. Well done, Isabella. Um, <laughs> all right. We speed around this for 10 minutes. That was pretty quick. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, what do I want to do now? Let's do the plus word, everybody. And then I'm going to do something a little bit different after this. Remember the time it took an hour to solve two semantics? It's probably taken an hour more than once, Tornado. Do you remember the words? I'm not quite sure myself. Let me make myself a little bit. Michaelmas Daisy. Uh, let me make myself a little bit smaller. Get myself out of the way. There we go. Michaelmas Daisy. I don't know what that means. That is Latin to me. Ratio, climb. Ratio and climb. I don't know. <laughs> Punctures. This is going to be a plural. You'd think I'd be a little bit better at this game by now, considering we've done it so much. Construct, build. All right, I can have a crack at that one. I can have a crack at that one. Holes? For which one, Rhonda? Roosts could be like nests, I think, but that does not look right with build. Holes for punctures, okay. Maybe build is wrong, because that HB is pretty ugly. Eight minutes for Joe today. Cool. Pale. Pale, pale, pale. Pale. What do you call someone with pale skin? Ghostly. Asta for the daisy one. I don't know what the clue means, and I don't know what Nastra is, so, you know, let's go for it. <laughs> Result or scratch. It's a, oh, it's, it's a flower. It's a, everybody. Everybody. It's a flower. Okay. <laughs> Daisy is a flower. Uh, stories is tales, so I think I like one and three, and I don't like build, which is the only one that I've gotten so far, so good job, Tom. Um, <laughs> that's probably erect for construct, I think. Pale, ashy, I guess. Results, scratch. I don't know. Vote in, in is elect, that's fine. Ashen for pale. Uh, oh, ash, Ashen is better than Ashy. Yeah, I like Ashen. Recharge one's batteries, rests. Roosts are nests, of course. Result or scratch is a score. And then ratio climb is scale. Woo! A little bit slow, but not too bad. Who wants to solve this one for me? We got an L in the middle, an N, an A. We got a Talon, which uh, makes a lot of sense in the nest right there. Very bird related today. I guess fish have scales, not birds. Maybe I'm just talking nonsense. Alrighty, everybody. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I just want to give a very quick shout out and I should probably have a little image or something or a link. I'll put it in chat to the Puzzle Plaza Discord because I have my own little space there now. So you can come in and you can talk everything, Tom, in case you ever use Discord. But I'm going to put that in chat. Tornado. I'm going to pin that as well. Excellent idea, Tornado. 
This is why I pay you the big bucks. I don't pay you anything. Ah, and there you go. Um, so I've sort of asked all the other creators there if they wanted me to do one of their puzzles on stream. Uh, let me just let me just give you an introduction to all uh, all the people here. I should put in some links if I haven't. I don't remember if I have. Uh, I should put it in the video description. Yeah, 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 matey, good advice, good advice. How do I do things? How do I do things? Okay, content, live, currently live, edit. This is blind to you because I'm doing magic. Um, whoops, whoops. Ah, oh. come join my Discord. There we go, cool. That is in the description. But I just want to give you all a very, very quick introduction to everyone, all the other creators there, because they've been very kind in letting me have my own little place there. Because they've, you know, um, created this brilliant, brilliant community of puzzlers and puzzle watchers and puzzle doers and puzzle creators. So let me share that for you very, very quickly. Look at everyone managing my PR. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That, they're all mods, Sarah. They're all mods. They're all mods. Put your stream link in your channel in Puzzle Parsa. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Solve a Tom discussion. Live now. Um, oh, Tom. I'm so unorganized, everybody. How do you do it? How do you put up with me? How do you put up with me? All right, let me share my screen. <laughs> Where, let me share Discord so I can talk about Discord just a little bit before we get onto more games. Um, which one? Where are you, Discord, you matey? There we go. All right. So this is Puzzle Plaza. And I did mention this very, very quickly in my last one. But uh, I want to give it a proper shout out and let me put myself over the top because you want to see Tom of all of this. Um, yeah, so it's just a puzzling community. Tornado's part of it. Um, Twa's part of it. Isabella, I saw you join, but you haven't said hello yet. So, you know, get on it. Get on it, get on it, get on it. I should, um, I should at Tom... Uh, I can see you typing, Isabella. Let me let me delete this and try again. Ah, <laughs> uh, I yeah yeah yeah. You're getting in on it. You're getting in the fun. Um, at YouTube announcement. So there's a role in here as well, so you can get pinged on Discord, Isabella. And Artois in there, which is amazing. Oh, Tom, Tom, why do you make this so hard for yourself, matey? Okay, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Um, and yeah, you can give yourself this role if you want in Discord, which makes it so you get a ping whenever I go live or post a video. Um, or at least that's how it's meant to work. But, you know, how many people have that role? I haven't actually checked. Um, there's five of you. Yes, five of you. Actually, I think four because one of them's just the generic one. Sorry, let me catch up on chat because I'm just going on about nonsense. Uh, what is everyone saying? Add it to the video description. We've done that. Put my stream link in Puzzle Plaza. I've done that. End on your channel bio description. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do I do things? Simple, don't. Look at error manager PR. Stream link is needed. Yes, thank you. My disorganization is amusing. Yes. Not amusing on a daily basis, Rhonda. <laughs> uh, Sarah and I are like yin and yang when it comes to organization. I'm, I'm a little bit more um, living life in the moment, <laughs> I'd like to say. Well, she knows what's going on. 
All right. So I want to give a little bit of a shout out to um, all these other people that have welcomed me because I think it's sort of nice for them to have lent, left me in, let me in. Um, I just need to do another little <laughs> bit of admin because uh, a couple of them have sent me um, some puzzles to do on stream, which I think would be really, really nice, fun introduction to them. Just going to do this once. Um, but I thought it would be a really, really nice intro to all of them. Um, oh, Tom. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to interact with chat. I'm trying to do a lot of things very, very poorly. But the first one I'm going to introduce you to is Bremster. Um, I'm still sharing that, aren't I? I'm still sharing that. Yeah, yeah. So if you look on the left there, you should be able to see my mouse pointer when I'm over it. He is another Aussie. He doesn't live too far away from me, actually. <laughs> We're thinking of playing a board game together at some point. Um, but he makes Sudoku content. Oh, I'm playing the video in the background. You can probably hear it. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Oh, Tom, matey. How is everything going so badly? Just show me. I want, yeah, full, full playlist. All right, so he does Sudoku content, but what he does, which is really, really cool, is he does a lot of these little videos um, where, and I will share my screen finally because I know this content is rubbish. I am an absolute travesty of a man. He does these little Sudoku problems. So, you know, a lot of you probably know Sudoku's are quite hard. It's quite difficult to learn. Um, there he is. Uh, but he has these videos, which are only a couple of minutes long, and they sort of teach you some of the tricks of Sudoku's under different rule sets. And then you can, you can try to solve it yourself. Um, so he does this, and he does full Sudoku's as well. But um, you can hear the video in the background, Twa. Okay, well, that's good. But so in this problem, you're not trying to solve the whole Sudoku. You're trying to just get... Um, the values in these three highlighted squares. So this is an arrow Sudoku and it's very, very simple, the rules. It just means whatever's in this square has to be the sum of whatever's in this square. So if that's a three, then that would have to be a one, two. If this was a five, this would have to be one, four or two, three. So just every day he posts a new problem and it's just an introductory introduction to a lot of the common rule sets and the common tricks that you might use. And you can do the puzzle yourself or you can watch him. And so, so I'm gonna do three of these because they're really, really quick. Um, so this is an arrow puzzle, like I mentioned. And you sh what we need to think about here is what numbers can go on this arrow, I think, because the minimum we can make these five cells, one, two, three, four, five, is 15. What's the maximum we can make these? Seven and eight, 15. So if we tried to make these any lower, the bulbs are any lower, um, the circles, we wouldn't be able to put numbers in here because we've got to, we've got to minimize these and maximize these. I hope that's... Um, pretty straightforward what that means. Uh, so what goes in this square? Well, it's gotta be a seven or an eight. It sees a seven that way. So that's an eight, that's a seven. Seven in three digits can only be one, two, four. Can't make it up any other way unless you have repeat digits. So this is now a three, five. Um, and the other square we have to get is this one. Where does seven go in box five? Well, it can't go in these squares because of that one. Can't go in these squares for multiple reasons. Can't go in there because it's on the arrow. Oh, wait, that's not three, five. Anyway, <laughs> stupid Tom. Where does seven go in the box? You, you, okay, I'm not doing this justice. <laughs> I saw the arrows wrong. I apologize, everybody. I saw the arrows wrong. Where does seven go in the box? It can't go on here because it needs to add to seven. It can't go on here because you wouldn't be able to get to eight. The minimum would be 10, so seven goes there. And that's the problem. <laughs> 
Oh no. Oh no. I hope I hope you're clever enough to figure that out. I'm I'm very bad at explaining this. All right, let's do two more. Very, very quickly. Um, we'll open up another one of these videos. <clears throat> so if you want to subscribe to him, I won't put the link, just Google Bremster and it'll just, it'll pop up for you. And yeah, just look in the um, description of the video for the problems. This is the German Whispers problem. Some of you might be familiar with these because um, they were in one of the puzzles that, uh, in the puzzle I got from Bremster, funnily enough. So, you know, if you watched my Secret Santa Showcase, you would have seen this rule set. Um, or I did this in a live stream as well. I did the solve. So on this one, we need to work out what is on all of these. And the rule is that it has to be, each digit has to be at least five away from each other. So if that was a four, for example, that would have to be a nine because that's the only digit five away. Or if this was an eight, then this would have to be a one, two, three. So the thing to recognize with German Whispers is that they actually have to go high and low because you'll have one from one to four as a low one and then you'll have one from six to nine as a high one, but you can never go high high because you need to always go at least five away. So we know, we don't know if the yellow ones are high or low but because we alternate high-low, we know that they are the same parity. Let's say the same high-low parity. Welcome, Connie. Good to see you, matey. Good to have your company. Um, so for this, we can just start to put the candidates in here. These can't be... Um, actually, I can see it. Hey, Morpin. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. I haven't seen you for a little bit. Excellent to see you. Um, yeah, these two ones that I'm highlighting are the ones to think about for this problem because if they were low, they could only be three, four. And then if they were three, four, then one of them would have to be a four. Whoops. But then what do you put in the two ones next to it? You'd have to put two nines in there. Have to put two nines in there. Doesn't work, doesn't work. So we know in this case, the purples are high. So I'm just gonna put six, seven, eight, nine in those. That's not a seven, that's not a nine. And these ones are low. They have to be three, four because they see one, two. So one of these is gonna to have to be a four, which forces a nine. And one of these is gonna to have to be a three, which will force an eight because we can't put a nine because it's taken by the four. You're only gonna be here a little bit and then sleep. Well, thanks for saying hello, Morgan. It's good to see you, even if you can't hang out for very long. Hope you're well, mate. How's your week been? How's your week been? Um, this one's gonna have to be low again, two or four. It can't actually be four. And let me tell you why, because if it was a four, that would be a three. This would be a nine, because it's next to the four. But then you'd have a four here, and you couldn't put a nine in there. Not sure if that's probably intended, but I saw it, so I'm gonna use it. This is now a two. This has to be an eight, because it can't be a six. That's only four away. Uh, so we have one, can't be, a two, or a four here. Again, it can't be, can it be a four? Can it be a four? Um, ah, this three is looking at that one, eh? Eh? So that's a four, that's a three. This four forces this one to be a nine, this to be an eight. Um, this one is, has to be a one now, and then the puzzle's solved. So nice introduction to a lot of the tricks you might use in a German whispers puzzle. Gonna to to do just one more of these and then I'm gonna move on to something else very, very shortly. Because I really wanna give you a flavor. There's, uh, these are sort of what we call common mm. Sudoku variant rule sets. Um, so yeah, if you do a lot of Sudokus, which I do, or at least used to do, um, these are rules that in variant Sudoku are very, very common. So it's good to learn sort of some of the tricks in a very, very simple way so that if you go and do a full one and you sort of like, ah, oh, I understand this a little bit better. All right. So this one here, we got to figure out all these ones in X. 
Hmm. There's a lot going on here. Is this the... <clears throat> Why am I on puzzle 82? No. Sorry, everybody. I want puzzle 3, not 82. Where's my puzzle 3? Where's my puzzle 3? Where's my puzzle 3? <laughs> ah, I need the playlist. Tom, what have you done, matey? What have you done? Here we go. Okay. Yeah, this little killer, I remember I did it the other day and it's a little bit... What? Everybody. Tom makes the same mistake twice. How many times can we make the same mistake? Stay tuned for more. Um, <laughs> what rubbish content. Okay, here we go. We got the right video here. This is a killer cage one. <clears throat> Where... Load up, load up, load up, load up. All right. But the rules of this one is that the number in these cages you have to add up to with the two cells. So 10, for example, could be a 1-9, it could be a 2-8, it could be a 3-7 or a 4-6. Um, so what is the trick to this one, you might ask, which I'm sure you do. Third time's a charm. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, the way I'd probably think about this is every box has the numbers one to nine into in it right so they always add up to the same number 45 a little bit of maths here a little bit of maths here so we know all of these digits add up to 45 now if we take away this we know now the highlighted digits add up to 35 if we take away that one we know the highlighted digits add up to 32 Oh, ranks! Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just giving a shout out to all the Puzzle Plaza people at the moment, and I'm doing Bremster first. Thanks for saying hello. I know I sort of had a little bit of a cheeky comment on one of the other streams, but I didn't, I didn't mean anything by it. I was just having fun, but I'm glad you're here to say hello. Ranks is sort of the king. I think you must have been the one that started Puzzle Plaza, surely. Surely, surely. I reckon Twa and Tornado are probably familiar with you. Anyway, just finishing off. We know that the yellow adds to 45. Uh, no, what did I say? 28. 28. 28. I will get to you straight after this, Ranks. Going to give you a massive, massive shout out. I'm so lost. Let me just start this again. I got excited when Ranks turned up. <laughs> This adds up to 45. Purple adds up to 45. Purple adds up to 35. Purple adds up to 32. Purple adds up to 32. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, so digits can't repeat in a cage. So whatever's in this cell, and I'm going to write 32 here just so I don't forget it again. Whatever's in this cell has to go into one of these cells because it can't go that way during to Sudoku and it can't repeat. In the cage there. Ranks, please get me out of this trouble. I have solved this one when Bremser started this stuff, but it was a long time ago. <laughs> Show your uh, Sudoku prowess. Ranks does a lot of Sudoku streams, so he's probably a lot more talented at these than me. Um, whatever's here must go in one of these two cells. Um, if it went here, if it went was a three, then we'd have a three there, and we'd have these adding up to 32. Um, these would have to add up to 25, and then that would be a seven. That's probably the solution, isn't it? Okay, so let's disprove the other way. If this uh, was not, if this was the same as this cell, I don't think I'm doing this puzzle justice. I'm sure there's a much more elegant way to think about this one. But if that was there... Um, is it a parody thing? Is this a parody thing? So we know that these cells add up to an even number. 
these cells add up to an even number because they're 32. Um, if we took took oh, it ranks as solved in this formula. 10 plus 10, 28 plus 10 plus 3 is not 45, so they can't be the same. Oh, really? Did I stuff that up completely? So what ranks the same? Let me just get everything out here. <laughs> Matey. Is that these add up to 45. Yeah? Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. So those add up to 45. But if this was the same digit, if this was the same digit, like let's say it's a five. It doesn't matter what it is. Let's say it's five. What this would mean is that these cells add up to the exact same as these cells. Because we're just adding a five and minusing a five from that group of cells. So that's the way to think about it. I hope I've explained that in a way that made sense. It is very mathematical. It's actually a very, very cool trick, this one, um, and used a lot in these killer cage Sudokus. So this one must be the same as this one because it can't be any of these cells because they're in the cage. It can't be that cell, these cells, because it sees this cell sees it. So it has to be the same as this. That's a three, that's a seven. Thank you for saving me ranks because I got myself in a lot of trouble there. Anyway, <laughs> I was gonna go down the list, but I will do ranks now because he's in chat and he's said hello. And I think uh, he's the second one in Puzzle Plaza to come in my stream. Um, Zeta came once. I got a shame Bremson into coming once as well. <laughs> Let me get myself in order. Um, we will put this one on top again. So ranks is a really, really cool um, uh, creator, creator, creator. He's done a lot of the software. He does so much. He does so much. It's insane. It's insane. He's the hardest working man in the puzzling world. He uh, does a lot of the software that's used um, for creating puzzles. So whenever I make a Sudoku, for example, um, I'm using some of the add-ons he uses just to make it simpler to make those Sudokus. So he does that. He streams just about every single day. Um, most get days is word games, so very similar to what I do. So if you can't get enough word game content with Tom, go check him out. He's probably a little bit more heavier in the direct Wordle spin-offs so like the you know wordle the cordal for wordles or the themed wordles or whatever else and does a little bit of geoguessr as well so if you're into that give him a sub check him out um he also manages this community brilliantly he was the one that let me have my own spot so mate you get the award you get the gold you get the gold that's for you 24 karat gold he's even and let me show you off this he has even, where is it, where is it, where is it, made a Wordle clone in Discord. I hope it's okay for you me to share this at the moment, um, ranks, because I know it, it's, it's um, a lot of changes are coming in. It's early, it's beta, it's beta, but we're going to try and play Wordle on Discord. Everybody, so suggest a word for me. Um, let me catch up on chat, on chat. I live in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the same city as Bremster actually ranks. So we are, um, thinking about playing board games together soon. I had a call with him last night. <laughs> um, yeah. All the theme words. Have you played Twa's variants ranks? Uh, I'm not sure. She's got a few different variants. Yeah. It'll be awesome. I'm looking forward to meeting him. He's such a nice guy. He's very, very lovely. Um, let's start with ranks because that's close to ranks. Nice. Uh, so all you need to do is follow the instructions here. And what happens? Ah, oh, sorry. I'm so slow. You put the word where it says word, everybody. You put the word where it says word. Um, oh, and you type it right if you're not a fool. 
and then you get this like nice pop-up and the graphics are really nice for this one so we have an r in it we are feeling like we are Ooh, everyone, you feel free to shout out your guesses in chat. I'm going to try fruit. Because we get to try out a lot of new things. Wow, we start with F. That is unlikely. Unlikely. You may have played some. <laughs> yeah, you played one or two Wordle variants before, mate. Hey, Tornado, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, hmm... We still have E available here. Is wow, how unusual! <clears throat> how unusual! How do we solve this? We have O available as well. The R's not in the second spot, so maybe something like F. Fota, Ugh, gross. Ranks can only think of part. Forty is such a good guess. And fourth, or forte. Oh, I've never been into a fort trap before. Tornado has 130 wins on this game. He loves this. He loves this. Is that the highest score on the um, Wordle? 40. Let's just go for it. Forte. I'm going to go forte. Oh, all right. We might have... Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I should have probably had a um a guess that tried out these letters, but we got there in five. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. It's unlimited, so you can play this over and over again. I know Ranks is still doing bucket loads of work um on this game, so there's going to be a lot of stuff. So if you join the Discord, if you join the Discord, you get to um, join in on the fun there. Tornado lost to an itch trap. Yeah. What? Pitch. Litch. Hitch. Ditch. Witch. Something like that. Wow. Itch trap. Um, <laughs> thanks for saying hello, Ranks. It's actually... um. Yeah, I mentioned this to Ranks the other day, but he is actually the number one reason why I make content in the first place. Because I was lo watching his live stream probably um, maybe nine months ago now, and he was playing Samantle, and I went, oh my god, I love this game so much. I love this game so much. I just want to see more. I want to see more. And you know... His content's similar to mine. You solve the game with him. He doesn't play Samantle anymore, <laughs> but he used to play it every day. And I'm like, I love this so much. Who's making content? Who's making daily sh content on this? And no one was. So I'm like, alrighty, well, be the change that you want to see in the world. And that's what got me started. That's what got me started. And then, yeah, you probably most of you are probably familiar, but then I spent three months doing a Samantle video every single day, which Ah, it was a lot of work, and I eventually gave that up, but now you know what it is. Do I want the thing that Josh made that gets you a link to a custom game with a random Samantha world? Oh, really? Is that, uh, is that a Discord thing, Ranks, or something else? Hey, Pat, welcome. Good to see you. Glad to have your company. We've got a Ranks in the chat who's the person behind Puzzle Plaza, behind... Discord Wordle behind so so many things. It's just a URL you go to and it directs to you. Uh, link link it to me. I'm really really curious to know that if you got it on hand, mate. I'd love to see that. What's going on in the silver Tom discussion? Look, Mum, I'm famous on the stream. Two chairs. Well, now there's a third one. Can I ask what everyone thinks of the new branding? I've changed up the thumbnails a bit. I need to change my YouTube banner. Um, it's actually using ChatGPT Grey. <laughs> it's the background. It's literally the hex code from ChatGPT. But I'm going to be making more ChatGPT content. So I like the color stream. It's the color. Um, awesome. 
Ranks has just sent me a chat there. Sorry if I'm sharing anything in our private chats that I shouldn't be. I'm going to make you mod, Ranks, because it's a meme that everyone gets made mod and you are as deserving as anyone. Um, and I'll put that in chat as well if you want to see this um, Samantle thing. Let's open it up. Let's open it up. Um, yeah, Ranks, if you can tell, my streams are a little less organized than yours. It's just uh, complete random nonsense. Complete random nonsense. Um, all right, we will put... We will hide that for now. And wow, so it's a link that you click. And it, what it does is it just creates a random semantle for you. Which is really, really cool. Really cool. Um, we do a lot of uh, custom games. Because you, you lot would know if you go to semantle.com slash making make custom games. It's just like, what is chat thinking? Or what is Tom thinking? What is Tom thinking? So maybe we'll do some custom games a little bit later. A little bit later. Made by Josh Johnson. Is he on our Discord ranks? What does choosing a color on Puzzle Plaza mean? Uh, so when you're on Puzzle Plaza, Rhonda, you'll go to the welcome and you'll need to just click a couple of things. Um, that just changes the cut got the wrong window up again. Good job, Tom. And I've just disconnected. Okay, I'm a back. I'm a back. I'm a back. Yeah, so when you come in here, you'll just come in here. Ranks has nicely put me there. Read the rules. It's very, very family friendly. Um, no spoilers, no spoilers, no spoilers. You give this a thumbs up. You can share it with your mates. You give yourself a color. You let you know, let them know what pronoun you want, and you can put. Um, you then can click number nine to get announcements of this guy right here. Five people have. I'm a little bit behind <laughs> everyone else. That's all right. You know, start a bit late. Start a bit late, and then you welcome to go, and you're welcome to come hang out in uh, Solver Tom or any of these other ones. So it is absolutely brilliant fun. Will I do the big Pedantle? We will do Pedantle today, Connie. I do love Pedantle. It's a great, fun group game. Um, beta version of Fusel? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Twa. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so good to have you here, Rhonda. Um, yeah, it's such a good community. They're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm just going to give a shout out just to the rest of these people, just to give you an introduction to them very, very quickly. Uh, Geo Jessa does, uh, she does daily wordles and such. She does a lot of, um, geography games. Uh, so Geo Gesser, obviously, but a lot of the like wordle ripoffs where you find the city or you find the country. And something cool that she does is like in the next day's game, she talks about the previous city or the previous country and gives some fun facts about that. So, you know, follow along with her. Just Google her name and you'll find her if you're interested in that. Ranks, um, oh, I didn't sort of mention his content. So he does a lot of, um, I think maybe about five days a week, I want to say, um, word game streams, a couple of hours each. And then uh, maybe two days a week Sudoku streams. I'm long overdue submitting one of my Sudokus to him. So I should absolutely do that 100%. Silver Tom is the best word game player ever. Um, <laughs> just nonsense. Sven is um, the fella who actually makes the Sudoku software. So even that stuff that you saw me doing, the problems there. Um, let me just go back so I can pop it up one more time. This software, he makes it, and it's such good software. Honestly, he's... Uh, he is the unsung hero of the Sudoku world. Um, he doesn't get nearly as much recognition or appreciation. You know, there's one certain very, very large Sudoku channel who he makes this for. And uh, yeah, they get a lot of kudos. And unfortunately, Sven does not get the love he deserves because he makes this software. And it's just like, it works so beautifully. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, so he's sometimes on Twitch and YouTube. He just live streams his, um, 
his uh, development work. So if you're interested to know what it takes to develop these sort of apps, check him out. Next, 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 next. <laughs> we'll get to puzzle soon, everybody. Don't you worry. Scotty Strossel, Scott Strassolves. He is the the one that sort of rode the Wordle wave better than everyone else. Um, Ranks has done very, very well. He's gone from... He went... Ranks, I know you went from like 700 or something to 10,000 or 1,000. No, you went from 1,000 to like 10,000 like that. Scotty went from 1,000 to like 70,000. So he just got in the exact same... Exact right time. Biggest Wordle guy on YouTube. Um, And he's actually started some... Another channel where he's... It's called... Let me find it for you, because I noticed his video the other day. I left a comment on it. If I can find it. Where are you, matey? It's called something like, this is interesting, or... Here, if I go to his video, I should be able to find alternative channels. I want to give it a proper shout out. Um, Channels. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hide this one. Yeah, so he's got his own channel and he's got another channel called Here's Something Interesting where it's just like five, ten minute videos of just like here, hey, here's the background of superstition or here's um, an interesting fact or whatever else. That's quite new and quite interesting. It's pretty cool that he's branching out. I don't know why he hasn't linked his two channels. That's a bit weird because usually you have sort of you, it would say he has two channels, but there. And there you go. You got Ranks there, Cracking the Cryptic there, Bremster there. Does Tom come up at all? No. Ah, oh, unshackling. Matey, you've done me. You've done me. I didn't get a shout out on his uh, similar channels. That's funny. Uh, who else do we have? I'll get to puzzle soon, everybody. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, mateys. Um... Three word game streams and two Sudoku streams for ranks. Yeah, you were doing too much, mate. You were doing crazy amounts. Crazy amounts. Geo Jester is ranked sister? I did not know that. Wow. Amazing. I, didn't... Oh, I haven't been uh, paying enough attention. Here's something interesting to the channel. Thank you, Twa. Yes, 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 yes. We're almost done with the shout outs, everybody. Don't you worry, word games are coming back soon. Um, the Asylum, he's a cool guy. He's very sort of like down to earth American. I think he's a southerner. He's a developer. He does a lot of the, um, games of the ranks. Actually, one of the games, I can do one of the ones that he's come up with because you guys came up with the Gauntlet all. So everybody might have in chat might have seen, um, me play this game. I might as well play it while we're here, eh? What do you reckon? But it's a cool variant. I know he made it with ranks where you got to sort of win four Wordles and then you've got to play like a um, conditioned game of Wordle where it gives you your four answers and there's one answer at the end. Uh, there's... Oh, if I put this up a little bit, you can see they've got their names at the bottom there. Let's play. Why not? Why not? I'm going to start with ranks again just to say thank you for everything he does for the community. Feel free to put your guesses in chat. Oh, he, uh, he also made the Wordle later ranks his saying, which is the best custom Wordle site. Nice. I love that. So if you want to make a custom Wordle for Solve Tom right here, use the Wordle later. Google it. I'm sure it, I'm sure it gets on. I didn't get a shout out. You get a shout out at the bottom of the help screen in Fusel if you ever f- finish it. Twa, you are the constant shout out, mate. You are always here. And I love that. Yeah. Come here and keep his company. And he also made Asylum the the Asylum. I don't even know how to say his name. I always just read it as the Asylum, but that's probably not right. Has is it a Wordle, which you can check words and uh, Scrabble stuff. So very talented developer. Obviously, um, he's been having a little bit of a tough go of it lately. But uh, check him out if you're into that. Um, let's try to grope. I mean, let's not grope anything because that's very, very room. The Asylum. Thank you, Ranks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have, um, yeah, since joining Puzzle Plaza, I have 
tried to join everyone live um, at least once or you know for those that don't do live at least join their um, just comment, watch a couple of their videos and leave a few comments there. Because, yeah, I mean, thank you for letting me in, Ranks. Um, you know, you've done so much to sort of facilitate the community, which I know you used to do it for Cracking the Cryptic, and then it's sort of like a bit of a thankless job, so I'm glad you've created your own um, community. And to let me have my little corner there is uh, very, very kind of you. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. The Seelm. Yeah, that's how it's sort of spelt. Um, what do we reckon's going on with this word, everybody? I need a little bit of your help solving. Uh, we're probably ending in ER, aren't we? Can you do spaces in this? Oh, I love that you can do spaces. Can't do it in the original Wordle. Can't do it in the original Wordle. Um, so we are an er uh, trap. Um, hyper, maybe? Ranks made Puzzle Plaza, which was originally called Sudoku Solver. Yeah, I was part of it back then. I was there back then. Because the CTC Discord server mods wouldn't give you your own channel for Solver stuff. Yeah. Mark and Simon from CTC, they are the luckiest people in the world because they have, you know, these um, brilliant, brilliant community there. But they're sort of a little bit... I don't want to speak bad of them because they're really, really lovely. But they're sort of like, this is mine. This is mine. <laughs> you know? This is mine. They don't like to share very much. So it's so good because the that um, we have Puzzle Plaza because there's a really, really positive community. Everyone's sharing. Nothing's, nothing's anyone's. Um, Bremster... It's just like you go to Bremster, you say, mate, you mind chatting out my thing in your next video? He's like, yeah, I'll do that. It's like, you know, there's no hiding that other channels exist, that other channels do similar content. You know, if you end up watching Ranks and you like him more than me, well, you know, sucks for me. <laughs> I'm just happy. I'm just happy that you're enjoying the word games. Um, wired. Fired and Wired were good guesses. Um, interesting that it doesn't end in a D or an R. How strange. How strange. Simon in particular is very concerned about the longevity of them being able to continue to support their families just from YouTube. Your opinion is a rising tide all boats. Me too, matey. Me too. Don't try and take a big slice of the pie. Try to make a bigger pie. Your livelihood isn't on the line for testing that. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm going to be careful with how much I say, but Bremster was giving me estimates of how much CTC makes, Simon and Mark make, based on, you know, scaling up his numbers, because he's, like Ranks, he's monetized, and it is insane amounts of money, like, between YouTube ad revenue, um, Patreon revenue, live streams, everything else. It is big buckaroonies. <laughs> They're uh, not eating baked beans, tell you that much. <laughs> tell you that much. But yes, ranks like me. Like me is, uh, you know, we work full time. So although it's it'd be nice for me to get monetized and I hope I get there. This is mostly for fun and mostly because I enjoy doing it. Their Patreon is a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. But I think they're... If you calculate their amount of views, because they're probably getting about 70,000 views a day, um, or maybe 100,000 if you include all the old videos that gets watches and such, um, their, their main form of income is just ad revenue. Huge, huge amounts of ad revenue. Um Hence why they're probably posting a lot of like 90 minute selves now. It's because like, yeah. <laughs> Cash cha-ching, baby. 535 subs. Yeah, we've had a little bit of a push lately, Isabella. Felt like we were only 400 subs um, a couple of weeks ago. And we're up to 535. So that is so, so good. Um, I've done a lot of work in trying to fix a lot of the... Uh, 
environmentals on my stream. So I'm hoping the quality is a bit better now. I do a five hour stream at 500, five sub, 500 subs. Oh, I did say I'd do that. I'm feeling a bit under the weather twice. So I will do a five hour stream at some point, but when I'm a hundred percent. The road to a thousand is so tough. Yeah, I think I started watching you ranks when you were about my size. I think you were about 500 when I first checked you out. And I found out about you. Um, well, I think I would have first seen your name from Cracking the Cryptic. But then I found out about you from um, the Sudoku add-on to F Puzzles. Um, and then I sort of Googled you a bit. I'm like, who is this guy? I'm like, oh, he makes content. Oh, he does live solves. It's like, oh, I've always wanted to see Sudoku live solves. Like, that's so much more fun and engaging and interesting to me than, um, than watching just a video that someone solved and they might have edited it or whatever. So, um, that's how I found out about you. But I'm sure you've got... Like me, if I like go through everyone in chat that watches me on a regular basis, everyone sort of came from a different, found out about me a different way. Um, so it's interesting how, how that happens. Uh, what is this next word? Um, we have one E. Chest is possible. Nice. Toi. Hmm. Uh, is there a got a word? No. Egret, I was thinking of. Ah, oh, that's the one that done me. That was in one of the streams the other day. Sent? Ah, oh, no, there's no E there. And there's no S, and there's no C. I should have thought before I put it in there. <laughs> whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Um, inept, no. Pat found me on Google. Was that Googling some mantle stuff? Scent was a suggestion before I entered chest. Ah, okay. Yeah. I should look before I type. I'm not much of a thinker, Ranks. I'm more of a doer. <laughs> Sorry, Twa. <laughs> I know, I'm making a bit of a meal of this one. It's not going too good. Uh, we definitely start with an E. Thank you, Ranks. I appreciate you figuring that out for me. Um... Hmm. And yeah, Pat told you about me, Rhonda. Oh, Twy, you said exalt. Have I missed that? I keep... How am I keeping missing things in chat? Oh, I see it. I see it. Really? <laughs> I did not know there was another word under this format. Exalt. Wow. Cool. Did not know that one. Um, Let's keep it going. <laughs> it's going slow work. Um, welcome back, Tornado. Welcome back, welcome back. We are starting from scratch here. Noisy. Yeah, that's a nice set of words. Uses two vowels, uses an S. Whoa, I did not expect that. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Exalt is one hell of a guest. I didn't even know that was a word. Charm. Ranks is, yeah, the king of these games. How many, like, how many hundreds of hours do you think you've been playing these wordle likes, mate? You're so good at these. You must be. You must have the dictionary memorized. And I'm glad to have you in chat to help me out with this. Chaff. Um, hmm. Scorn. Hmm. Charm. Yeah, charm. Charm, charm, charm. Wow. Uh, we probably end in ACK. Hey, a back. Wow, that is tricky if that's right. Nice, excellent call. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We got one more of the regular solved here. Um, is Lopus a word? No. Um, why not troop? Because that's not how you spell troop. Let's just waste a double O because, you know, we don't like to optimize here. We like to... What's the opposite of optimized? <laughs> don't know. I don't know. Uh, grimy. That's a great guess. We are GR. Maybe greed? 
Takes you longer to type than think. Well, you need to hook up a system to your brain. Connie, new dating show, Farmer Wants a Wife on Fox Network. That's a, is that an Australian show? Because we've had Farmer Wants a Wife for donkeys. It's been here for like five years. Is that the Australian version of America made a version of that one, Connie? Gruel. Yeah, a bit of a grueling uh, effort here. But nice ranks. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Unoptimized is the opposite of optimized. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit under the weather, everybody. <laughs> Please be kind. America coming out. You found it hilarious. Interesting. Yeah, we've had... They've been pumping out seasons of that in Australia for donkeys. Um, I never watched it, but that's pretty funny. So, T-L-E-A. Um, in this last mode, what we have to do is we have to... Um, Basically, guess a word that guarantees our victory. Um, and just to let you know, this this game has a lot of um, different uh, wor rule sets. So you can... There's a lot of different modes. I won't go through them. But... We gotta... Usually I play on Ultra. I'm not sure why that box is on. Are we... We're not on Ultra at the moment? Yeah. Usually... When I did my daily solve of this... Um, because it's in my, like, 100 daily souls. I did play on ultra mode. This is, like, optimal. Yeah, yeah, Twi. we got to sort of guarantee the victory. So... What do we guess? What do we guess? Sarah on the mend? Uh, yeah, she's doing well, uh, Pat. She tested again this morning and she's still just barely positive with COVID which has got me worried that I've got it again because I've had it twice already my throat doesn't feel very good but I tested this morning myself as well and I am still in the clear um but my throat doesn't feel quite right so I'm probably gonna not go in the office for the next couple of days just to ensure there's several ones words you have to Guarantee it. You didn't like the Hurdle website, so you made your own and then realized you could make the last game adversarial. Yeah, it's a really cool sort of combination ranks. I really like it. Um, I don't like the Hurdle website either. It has problems. I remember the first time I tried to film a video of it, it just broke and I had to refresh and open it in an incognito um, browser and start again. Um, I hope you don't have it and feel better soon. So do I, Isabella. Funnily enough, the first time... I think um, Sarah had a cold and, and you know, COVID was massive and just like, ah, oh, test, test, test. She's healthy. And then I started to feel a bit unwell. Um, and it's like, oh, I guess I've caught your cold. And then I test COVID riddle with it. <laughs> riddle with it. And then she never had it. So I don't know what happened on there. Ah, uh, latte. Okay, so this is adversarial. What is a good guess to guarantee our win? What words could we possibly be that are a win? Joe, thank you for coming in and helping me because I'm really awful at these. Slate, plate, cleat, pleat, latte. Technically, I have to say, well, we'll, we'll use our imaginations, ranks. <laughs> we'll use our imaginations. Um, so we want to use SPC. Oh no, no A in the middle. So C and P we still need to use for cleat and pleat and it can be latte. Hey Brisbane Lions magician, how's it going? How's it going? Do you actually do magic for the Brisbane Lions? They're an Aussie rules footy team. <laughs> I'm curious to know the, the origins of your name, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Can be lathe. Where's worm? Where's worm when you need them? Where's worm? I love worm. They're such a... They used... Worm was... Back when I started, worm was the only one that ever commented on my videos. So, um... <laughs> I've got a lot, a lot of love for worm. Uh, and, oh, oh sorry. No one gets the reference. Worm works with a lathe. Very interesting question. You have no idea to be honest. <laughs> How do you have a name and you don't know the origin, matey? You can only see lathe and latte. What's wrong with cleat and pleat? 
C L E A T P L E A T. Lathe latte cleat and pleat. Um, I'm just gonna do claps. Not a word. Not in answer list. Two yards. Ah. Uh... There are two yellow T's in the last column. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry, matey, I'm a bit slow. Ah, uh, good call, good call. All right, lathe and latte. Well, I guess we have the easy mode on. Nice. And Ranks was right, they're the only two it can be. So if you, if you want someone that can play word games very, very well, watch. Make sure you give Ranks a sub. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can like click on his name in chat or if you have to Google it, but yeah. Oh, is uh just Brisbane watch you as well, ranks. Nice, nice, nice. I think I've only seen him maybe two or three times, but welcome. Thanks for saying hello. Um Alright, let's take a little bit of a digression, because I wanna play some of my normal games. I do have one more um I do have a couple more Discord shout-outs. One more shout-out to make. Sorry, everybody. One more shout-out to make. Let me change my screen settings again. Uh, Zetamath. Zetamath's been really, really cool. He's welcomed me to his streams. He does a lot of Sudoku. A lot of Sudoku. He's got a... Um, He's got two YouTube channels, actually, where he has a Sudoku one. He has a really heavy maths one. So if you're into really interesting sort of mathematical lectures about um, really interesting topics, I've only watched a little bit, but it's got 10,000 subs, so he's doing quite well with that one. Um, check out... Just Google Data Math and it will come up for you. Um, he... Yeah, so Joe, I know you're a bit of a a uh, polymath, so maybe you'd like that one. Um, Scotty Strossel, yeah. <laughs> Scotty Strossel. I'm just sharing everyone in my community, Connie. Come come in if you got a Discord. Come join the beautiful, beautiful people there. Zayden Maths has sent me a puzzle as well, but I will do that one just a little bit later. Apparently it's a banger of a puzzle, though. Um, not too hard, um, but I do want to do some of my normal content first, and then we're going to get to this one, which is a double arrow Sudoku. Was this one featured on CTC? I have a suspicion that I might have done this one already. Um, but that doesn't matter. Everything gets forgotten quickly enough. Dordal, Cordal, and Octordal. Oh, so many words. We might get to those, Brisbane. We'll see. We'll see. Says you don't have permission to chat in the channel. You don't know what you did wrong. Uh, so Rhonda, maybe you just go to welcome again, I think, and just check that you've ticked all these boxes. Um, so you want to tick yes to that. You want to choose a color. Um, I think that's all you need to do. So... Yeah, make sure you tick this thumbs up right there. That's the most important one. I think. And then you should have access to chat and say hello. But if Ranks is around, he's um he might be able to tell you <laughs> what might be missing. Algorada for a custom semantle? No. No. No toi. No. No. Oh, if Ranks doing tech support while we're here. Ranks, mate, you are my hero. What a legend. What a legend. Um, all right, let's let's play Pedantle while we're sorting out that access. This is Guess the Wikipedia article. It's only six letters long today. Um, it starts with the, so we're probably not a person unless we're like the Madonna or something. Um, but feel free to shout out your words in chat because I like playing this one together. Do the feudal? Maybe I could do the feudal. I like to save those for my shorts every day because the feudal and the word Vita shorts have really actually picked up a bit of steam. They're all starting to get a few thousand views a day. Um, so I just want to keep that going, Brisbane. 
I don't think they have an unlimited mode, unfortunately. Um, oh, Sarah's... I'll just leave it there. Sarah's kindly made me a coffee. What a champion she is. I'll be one second. Here is the beautiful coffee she made and uh, check out the pottery because this is her work. It's not her work. <laughs> it's store-bought. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um, check out the pottery. This one's her work. She did this one. It's a little bit dirty, but you can see beautiful, beautiful um, artwork and design on that one. There she is. Thank you, Sarah, my love. Very, very kind of you to bring me that. Ah, good call, Ranks. Yeah, you might be in the wrong channel, uh, Rhonda. So just go down, down the left-hand side, look for Solve a Tom Discussion, click on that, and that's where I am. That's where I'm hidden away. Um, has anyone... Animal person. All right, let's get the game going, everybody. Do you still... um? Do you play Redactyl or anything these days, Ranks? I know you used to, but I don't remember seeing you play it recently. Um, thanks for providing the technical support. Um, beach, city. Often, you know, cities and countries are quite common. You dropped some mantle in Redactyl because you got bored of them? Yeah, you know, different strokes are different to folks. Um, I still love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. Um, but for me, yeah, it's like all the wordle, the direct wordle variants. Um, that's uh, not my style anymore. Um, so, you know, most stream, a lot of streams, I don't even play a wordle, a wordle like we just play sort of different ones. But it's sort of good that we, um, we, yeah, we obviously play the content that we like to play, the games that we like to play. Twi likes Samantha and Pedantal. When you have someone to do it with? Yes, that's the thing. That's the thing. So I never... I used to play Samantle every single day by myself. And I never, 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 never do it anymore. Um, unless I'm with a group. Because I like playing with friends. Um, in Latin is the article. Is in the article. Ah, oh, wow. Good call, Joe. Good call, Joe. Science. Have I played the New York Times mini crossword? I don't think I have. But we might add that to our list. Let's have a quick look at that. Oh, cool. I'm going to add that to my spreadsheet. Let's get my numbers up. I haven't actually got my numbers up at the moment because, you know, the theme of the stream is Tom versus every single game at least once. Um... Daily dashboard, stream dashboard. So we do have our numbers there. And why am I sharing that screen? Um, so I will update my little tracker with this game to make sure that we do it because we want to do every single game at least once. Um, oh, spoiler alert for the finales of my 100 game challenge thingy. Crossword. NYT mini crossword. Thanks for the suggestion, Ranks. Do you ever do that one? Is that a stream game for you? I like the plus word a lot. I do the plus word all the time. Um, but I haven't tried that one. Can't wait for Barbie Wars Adventure Stream. It's every wordle ripoff, man. <laughs> Why not? We're not doing Barbie Horse Adventures. Maybe. Maybe that will be a, 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 th a thousand stream special. Hey, Admiral Spunky, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I think you said you were going to join in a comment um, on YouTube. So it's awesome to see you here. We are playing Pedantle. Where we try to guess. Are we playing Pedantle? No. Uh, yeah, okay. Now we're playing Pedantle. What's my favorite puzzle that I've played? Um... What's my favorite puzzle that I've played? As in my favorite, like, Wordle-like game? Um, I probably really like... 
Oh, it's hard to say. I love Gram Jam. I love Samantle and Dowzel. I love um, Plus Word. Yeah, there's so many good ones. If you've never done Obscudal, have you done Obscudal live ranks? You would love this if you haven't done it. Um, you have a policy of just saying you don't have favorite things because those questions are hard for me to answer. Yeah. Well, I just make it up and then you ask me tomorrow, I'll have a different answer. Um, focus Tom, please. <laughs> sorry, Sarah. Uh, sorry, quick shout out to Obscudal. Um, Ranks, if you haven't played this, definitely play it. It's just like, it's not a daily, but every single game has a different rule set and you play a word alike. Um, and you need to work out the rule set and then you need to get these three different color patterns based on the rule set. And it has really, really, really weird, um, rule sets where, you know, there might be rules about the last guess and the new guess and whatever else. Um, oh, you have played it a couple times a few months ago. Okay. Okay. But I love this. I absolutely love it. It's so cool. Maybe I have to do a daily series of it. Because I've forgotten how it all works. Um, you've never done the feudal before, but you want to play it? Yeah, play it. I I think it has problem on mobile, though. I can't get it to work on my phone, which is annoying. Anyway, back to the game. It's just 12 puzzles and it's over? Yeah, it is. It is. But they're really super interesting and clever puzzles. If you need suggestions for favorite things, you should watch Mary Poppins. <laughs> all right. These are just a few of my favorite things. Sound of music? Let's see who was right. I know the song, but I'm not actually sure which is from. Who did my favorite things first? Sound of music. Good call, Ransk. Good call, matey. Tom, mate, you miss me giving Pat... Uh, shout out for bringing this word like family together. Yeah, Pat. Pat, you deserve all the credit in the world, matey. So, you know, thank you for helping with the family. <laughs> you win the award, mate. It's a Julie Andrews music. Oh, we got musical debate in chat at the moment. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. You can all debate musicals. I'm going to try and solve this game. Um, thing, place, is, or, if, on, it, can. You missed, I missed you giving you a shout out. Oh, I'm sorry. Reading's not my forte. But congratulations to me for being me. I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I'm glad that everyone enjoys this as much as I do. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Is Pedantal better or different than Redactal? I like this version better, Ranks, and let me tell you why. Because the interface is nicer, the colors are nicer, but mostly it has Samantha-like hints for every single thing you guess. So all of these words here, you can see that one's a synonym to animal. Um, this one's a synonym to Latin, that's a synonym to country. So it just gives you a much more, it, it's nicer to solve. You, know, you don't really feel like you have to um, just guess random words as much. You know, if you get a word that's close, then you're given hints for it. Um, plant, animal, soil, uh, landmark. Um, let's try and guess a year, 1900. So yeah, like often you'll have something a year and you guess 1900 and it tells you, oh yeah, there is a year and you sort of can get there that way. Mythology, religion, um, bird. Ooh, nice. So you see animal there just changed to bird because bird is close to the meaning, um, which is Interesting that we don't have a hit for bird, but we have a lot of close matches. So we're closer to a fish than a bird. We are closer than a fish and a bird. Um, shark. Uh, I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm really, 
I think my brain's a bit foggy because I'm not well. So apologies, everyone. I've been missing all your 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 uh, words in chat. Water, ocean, octopus, sea. What else? What other animal would we have that's adjacent to an a fish? Doesn't necessarily have to be underwater, but it has to be more like a fish than a bird. Great, large, squid's a good call. Prawn. Um, so it's like a fish, but bird is still closer than animal. That's right, admiral. So um, when we're talking about meaning, it probably just means because bird is a more specific term than animal. So even though it might not be more like a bird than a general animal, it's more like the word bird than general animal, if that makes sense. Twilight's got a custom semantle. Nice. We'll get to that one, mate. Marine snake. Yeah, maybe a reptile. Mammal. Mammal. We're a type of mammal. In Latin, it means something like fish animal. I think we've all learned from some mantle that computers aren't very good at telling which words are closer. It's it's just um it's more like understanding how the game thinks it's close, I guess. There's um another game ranks, I don't know if you've tried it, Context 2, um, which is very similar and it uses a very uh different I'm blocking words. Oh sorry, Connie. It uses a, a very different calculation for similarity. It's all over TikTok, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I actually really struggle with this game because I'm so used to the way Symantle ranks um, similar words that I um, I get confused. I got a massive shout out on TikTok today, actually, which I'll share with you shortly because... Um, I'm very surprised that I got the shout out, but there's a fella on TikTok named um, Kenny, who is way bigger than me. He's probably big, bigger than Scotty Strossel. He's got like 170,000 followers. And he started commenting on my videos, my Word Vita videos, saying, oh, mate, they are, yeah, Kenny Haller. Um, Ranks does his research. And he's like, oh, you know, wow, this game's so hard onto my word vita video and then he played it and then he put in the comments like hey shout out to solver tom check out his content it's like what a legend what a legend shouting me out like that because i didn't never shouted him out <laughs> you know he's uh his content's very focused i think to like teenagers <laughs> i'd say he just yells a lot and screams out the word gamer <laughs> I watch it and I'm confused, but you know, good on him. He's he's found himself a very good niche and a lot of success. Oh, Michael De Costanzo commented on one of your videos. Nice. I think Michael's even bigger than Kenny, isn't he? Ranks. He's massive, 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 massive. Um, I'm worthy of a shout out. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Uh, ocean, river, lake, pond water yeah i think we're alive maybe like a germ mammal what if we had said specific animals like a fox or a kangaroo or a sloth no red 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 he's huge no shout out there oh yeah i've always um i always think i need to do far more collabs because i think they're really important for go growth ranks and I remember, I don't know if you remember, but I was chatting to you on Discord about six months ago and I sort of feel like you sort of opened the door for a collab. It sort of like sounded like you're open to it and then I didn't enter the door. So that's on me, but we should definitely do something soon. I would love to do something with you if you'll have me. Um, I'll try to think of something that maybe our content aligns with. Anyway. <laughs> you don't have to commit to anything. You don't have to commit to anything. Very rude for me to call you out on chat like that. But, you know, whatever. No guarantees there, everybody. <laughs> no guarantees. I think, um, yeah, collabs are the, is a really, really good way 
grow. Herd is a nice guess. Turtle. You're always open for collabs, so mostly about timing for energy. Yeah, like I wouldn't want to do it unless I could think, think of a really, really good idea. Did you find... Actually, Ranks, can I ask you? You did... I remember you did your Ranks versus Scotty Strossel. Did you find that um, helped both of you? Did you, like, have a good week in terms of um, volume subs? Or was it more like um, same, same? Just out of curiosity. Those videos did very well. Yeah, see how it is. How often does Rank scream? Uh, yeah, three days a week for Word Games, two days a week for Sudoku. But he can tell you. Um, just Google him, Connie, and or click on his profile and you can sub to him. Um, and if you want to check him out, check him out, you know. Check him out. Welcome back, Tornado. You keep leaving and coming back. Um, aside from maybe one of the views. But that was motivated by Rank's need to pre-record videos because you went on a business trip. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, it goes to show how important that stuff is. Sheeps. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. In Latin, Latin considers this to be like a type of sheep. Um, goat, you, uh, what's like a sheep? Lamb. Rhonda, that is a great guess. Oh, am I still blocking things? What an idiot. See, Ranks, you're a bit more clever. You've got your setups, your pre-scenes set up. The problem is my I just decide different games every day, so I block things differently every day. Thank you, Ranks, for the call out there. <laughs> um, what type of... What is like a sheep? It's a fish goat sheep. Of course it is. How is salmon... What? What? I am lost. Ovis Picus Lanate. Are we in the water or not? What is the fish of the s the sheep of the sea, everybody? What is a sheep of the sea? Like a walrus or a dolphin or a seal? Bear, balance, balantes, whale, is whale the shape of the sea? <laughs> Fuchsia, isn't that a color? <laughs> Fuchsia. Fish, goat, sea, seals, penguin. Is narwhal the fish of the sea? They're more like the unicorn of the sea. Oh, it's the best so far, Joe. Nice. Narwhal. Wow, we are struggling here. Uh, today we are six letters long. Tornado. Six letters long. Leaf slug. Slug. Pink. It could be Azua. Oh my god, I hope it... I never want to see that word again, Toi. That's uh, not a good word. Narwhal. Six letters like a narwhal. Six letters like a narwhal. We've tried shark, we've tried dolphin, we've tried seal, penguin? Because we were close to birds, weren't we? Nothing for penguin. Rare. Let's maybe we can find out where we are. America, Antarctica, Antarctica. Uh, is that not how you spell Antarctica? Um, Australia. What hyphenates with sheep anyway? Well, this is just the lat the direct Latin translation uh, ranks. So here's the Latin name here, and here's the translation. Thank you everyone for correcting my spelling. Um, Europe. Uh, I'm just getting oranges, which means close. Beluga? Ooh, good thinking. We didn't get a hit for whale, so I don't think we are a type of... A type of, um, whale. A walrus? Goo 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 -doob. 
Ah, oh, that's such a good guess, Ransk. Rhino. Walrus was so good. Green, pink. Uh, where haven't I said? Africa. Atlantic. Let's try the oceans. Atlantic. Pacific. Imagine if we were a unicorn. Baleen. Um, let's have a little read through the article. Sorry if I'm still blocking some of this. How have I not got the continent? Weird. Lobster. Interesting. Good call though, Sarah. Just going for animals with horns? Yeah, you might be onto something. Ranks trout. Ooh, trout sheep goat. Yeah, we have tried America. South, north, east, west, northern, southern, eastern, western. Um, rainbow. Canada. Getting oranges for Canada. That's something up north then, like Iceland or Finland. Orange, orange, moose. I have tried Oceania. Twa. Of. We haven't tried. Greenland. Nanavut. Hmm. So this only has the first couple of paragraphs. It might be the whole article. I think we usually get more in information than this. But yeah, we don't have much. Ranks. Northern Territory. Territory. Oh! What is this territory? Nine-letter nine territory. Alaska. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Whatever we are, we, like, we are up very far north. Polar bear. Um, what would you find around Alaska, everybody? What sort of animals do you find in Alaska? Yukon. Old, wow, we got a hit for Yukon. That is a fair call to our, The Canadian territory of Yukon. So this thing lives in the Yukon. Oh, I haven't scrolled down. Sorry, everybody. I'm catching up. I'm so far behind. I didn't scroll down. Um, Nunavut. Sorry, Twa. Yeah, you've hit. You've got another hit there, mate. Words close to in. Is it on? Yeah, it could be. I should always start with um, a list of just the common words just to get us started with the syntax of the words. Why is Greenland highlighted green? So we might, whatever this is, it's in Greenland. It's in Canada, the Yukon. We are remote. Um, some sort of like bird up there, Kingfisher. Getting hits for Kingfisher on similarity. This is so weird. Louisiana, interesting. Western bordering. Um, a yak. British Columbia, British. Sorry, I'm way behind on chat, everybody. Columbia. Wolves. Sarah says that word wrong. I'm not going to say how she says it, though. Coast border. Uh, walrus we've done. Caribou. Oh, it's the closest so far. Elk. Deer. Reindeer. Bison. Nice ranks. 
Oh, we have a hit for bison. Why do we have it? Is this like another alternative name? Like something's it's called the something moose or the something bison musk ox. Nice. Well done, tornado. What the hell is a musk ox? <laughs> Apologies for the whole language. Musk ox. Let's have a look at the article. Look at this fella. Oh, let me scroll down. Let me get myself out of the way so you can see it. The musk ox. Yeah, you're right, Ranks. It only shows you the start of the article, so it is a bit harder than a redactyl in that way. Wow. Hoofed mammal from the Bovardine family in the Arctic. We are getting so weird, close, similar hits, weren't we? With like fish and birds and sheep, goat, oxen. I thought we were underwater. I thought we were in the sky. Then I thought we were underwater. That was a weird one, everybody. But well done for getting that. We struggled our way through, but we got there. Musky sheep ox. <laughs> yeah, what a weird one. Musk ox is obviously a sheep fish. What are you doing to me, Fnantle? What are you doing to me? <sighs> Twi, you got a custom semantic. Put it in chat. Oh, uh, did you send it to me on Discord? Okay, we're going to play. What is Twi thinking, everybody? Doing a nice custom. This is always fun to play custom games, and this is what we're all about. It's an ox designed by Elon. Yeah. Fisher musky. Yeah, they are a bit musky. Watch a lot of animal shows. We learn something new every time. Good, we do. We do. We do. We do. <laughs> do you think musk socks are cute? Um, I think they are something, Connie. <laughs> I wouldn't keep one as a pet. I'll tell you that much. I wouldn't keep one as a pet. <laughs> Fendo, you asked Custom Samantle in the beginning of stream. Mate, last time we did one of your Custom Samantles, the word was pee-pee. All right. The word was pee-pee. Not even pee-pee, -pee, the letters P and P. So you just... <laughs> We're going to take a break from your Samantles. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll get back to them. We'll get back to them. <laughs> Gee whiz. What do I have? Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is what is Twa thinking? What is Twa thinking? What is Twa thinking? Usually she likes to do words that are related to the stream. Um. So if you've picked up with a theme in the stream, like I did a Sudoku before, have a guess of that and we might be able to get there. There are a bunch of shows on Animal Planet, Net Geo, seen David Attenborough as well. Yeah, nothing better than an animal doco, is there? Uh, Rhonda and Sarah. Seal, sheep, high, good, win. Ranks, your polygonal video today was a disaster. You changed your video layout yesterday when it was six letters long, so today it was eight letters long and you only showed the middle six letters. Oh, what a nightmare. I saw your comment on the Discord about having an issue. Um, yeah, I really like your new layout for the videos. I think it's good, but yeah, it, what a pain for games that aren't always the same length. Is Twara she? She is. Absolutely. I got it wrong the first time and I haven't gotten it wrong since, I hope. Ah, try musky. Nice, smart. Ooh, best so far. Probably an adjective. Everyone like the stream if you haven't already. Helps me out a lot. <laughs> yes. Puzzle. Shout. Musky. Musky. Uh, fish. <laughs> fish are musky. That's what we've learned today. Whoa. Oh, I hope these aren't the words, Connie. I pronoun musky smelly smell 
good, bad, great, cool, creepy. Creepy the best so far. That's a worry. <laughs> That's a worry. Not related to this stream, but maybe related to something else I did. Um, stuffed up. And you sent it way before Pimpedantle. Cool. Anti... I need a hotkey for anti dis establishment Arianism. Country, politics, eat... Oh yeah, ranks. Probably getting a bit of PTSD over getting stuck at this game a million times. <laughs> like I have. I feel the pain. You refuse to guess the works that messes up the columns. Yeah, good call on that one. I've had that mess with me before. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can get... Um, fill the screen a little bit better. Uh, I think that's still all right. Not really covering anything too important. Creep. Strange. Oh, creep's the best. Is this insult Tom game again? Strange. Odd. Weird. Weirdo. Smelly. <laughs> Stupid. Fool. Hmm. <laughs> is it insult Tom stream? Moron. Great guest tonight. Sick COVID. <laughs> oh, ranks. Like, chat just loves to set like words like creepy and weirdo and moron. <laughs> so that I just have to guess. All these words. Handsome. Ah, oh, thank you, matey. What a legend. What a legend. What a legend. Sick. COVID. Wow, Samantha doesn't know COVID. You lucky game. You lucky game. Must have been made pre-COVID. The dictionary. It is actually. Idiot. Knucklehead. Thank you, Rhonda. The thing is, chat never tells me if these are guesses or if they're just, you know... Making comments. Isabella will probably get, be the one to get it if it's here. Solvent. Solution. Solve. Um, An iron. Cation. She is a scientist. Hmm. Science isn't close. Crazy idiot knucklehead. Did I do all those? I can't remember. It's not even an adjective, really. Verb then, like, because you can creep up on someone. Creep can be a verb. Isabella is around. Come on, Isabella, you've been called out. Solve the game for me, please. Fendo, you made a good custom mantle. <sighs> Did you email it to me? Have I got it? I'm scared, mate. I am scared. Yes, this is your Samantha twat. Yes, no, maybe. Creep, hide, seek, find, hidden, dangerous. Lameo, exalt, extol, betwixt, oh no. It's always really, really bad when you have a very rare word like extol and it's like green, green. I don't like it. I don't like it. Obscure is quite good. Mate, matey. Eating dinner. What's for dinner, Isabella? Hiding monetizer, I wish. <laughs> This is less than eight letters and long. Okay, okay, okay. Ethanol. Dinner. Be lies. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Usually I just say congratulations. But that's not an easy word, so thank you. You, Joe, for getting me out of this game. <laughs> Not that I don't enjoy your games, toi. But thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. What's the meme from again? What did I do? 
Oh, she. Sorry. Sorry, toi. What did I do? Did I play a game and I'm like, what is be- belly? Oh, it was the Wordle one day, wasn't it? It was the Wordle. And I'm like, I don't know what belly is. I don't know what belly is. Be lie. <laughs> wow. Hey, Fernando. Welcome. Good to have you on board, matey. Good to have you on board. Hope your uh, mum's English lessons are going well. Homemade chick- vegetable chicken soup like always. Oh, you're good. You're doing good, Isabella. Very healthy. Very healthy. Every time you made us a mantle, you all would suggest this word. <laughs> well, it took us a little bit, but Joe got there. Joe got there. Joe got there. All right. I'm going to take a little bit of digression and do... Um, Zeta Math's puzzle now, because Zeta Math is another one of the, um, people in, another one of the creators on Puzzle Plaza, and I said I would do his puzzle. He has a Sudoku stream, he does a lot of Sudoku streaming, like I said, he has his own maths channel as well, so if you're into that, check that out, math lectures. Um, he has a mate, Tristan, as well, who sometimes does Sudoku streams. I'm not, um, I'm not, uh, very, I don't know what their relationship is. I haven't watched enough of his content. I don't know if they're partners or roommates or brothers or what, but they, uh, have a lot of fun together. It's a little bit more, um, adult than my streams. He swears. (laughs) Have I done any of your Sudokus? I've done a whole lot of your Sudokus ranks. Um, not on stream though. Uh... Yeah, I've done a lot of the ones that fit, um, featured on CTC, like that, uh, I can't remember the name, but the region sum lines one, where it had a really cool trick with the seven and the eight adding up on two different lines in box four and six. I remember the puzzle, I don't remember the name. If you got a six by six, send it through, mate. I'd love to do it. I'd love to do it. You might have missed my comment on Puzzle Puzzle, but I sort of asked... Um, all the creators, if they got a puzzle for me, like a custom wordle or whatever, to uh, send it through because I want to do it. So I am absolutely happy to do that. But um, send it through. I'll do yours before I do Zeta Maths just because you're here and I don't know how long you can hang around for and I'd love to have you see me solve it. Um, feel free to either put it in chat. Ranks is your mod, so you can put it in chat. Uh, or you can send me a DM on Discord. Uh, have you got a stream today, Ranks? Are you streaming later? Is it a word game day or a or a Sudoku day or a break day for you? Uh, let me pop up chat again. Oh, you already streamed today. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm used to you usually streaming like at, yeah, you know, two hours from now, but your Sudoku ones are early. Any good puzzles? We're going to do six by six are really, really cool because they're, if you're new to Sudoku, some of the things that are really, really hard to get your mind around is scanning, um, having to go look all the way up and down nine cells is really hard. So six by six actually makes that a little bit easier because you don't need to go so far with your looking. Some really good, but also tough puzzles. Yeah. I will submit a Sudoku to you soon. I am long overdue. I've submitted Bremster one. You've probably done about three of mine before ranks. Um, Yeah. I don't know if you remember, but I sent you sort of a three pack of region sum lines. A while back, uh, but I will send you a new one. Brems has got one of mine in the queue, so does Zeta, which I'm excited to watch both of them solve as well. So this is uh, Six Arrows by Ransk. Am I blocking anything with my thing? Uh, it's not too bad. Let's just move Oops, that down there. Um, so we saw some arrows before. It just means whatever's in the circle, the things on the actual arrow itself have to add in the circle. So if this was a five, for example, and you could have a one, a two, and a two there, those three add up to five. So let's get started on this one. Um, 
Hmm. This one has to be at least a four because the minimum we can put on here is one, two, one. Which means the maximum we can put on here is a three. Because if we put a four there, then we'd have one, two, and then that would be seven. And it's a six by six, everybody. We can't do that. Uh, one, two, three, four there. Because if we had one, four, and one, that's six. All right. Ah, okay. Okay, something to think about is where does six go in box three here? Where does six go? Well, you can't put on an arrow because an arrow is always smaller than the bulb um, or the circle. So the only place the six can go in this box is right there. That's very cool. Very, very cool. Like that break in means a six up there. We got a five in one of these three cells somewhere, which is quite interesting. That forces one of a, this one or this one to be a six. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Let me explain this slowly. All right. So where does five go in this box? Yeah, it has to either go here or here. So no matter what, the five is going to have to go with a one and make a six either in this bulb here, circle, or this circle here. And why is that interesting that one of these is a six? Because if you put a six in this circle here, you can't put a six in either one of those. So this one can't be a six. And that's very important because that gets rid of one of our degrees of freedom. So we can't have a four in there anymore. And we can't have a three in there anymore because our max is five. Um, we definitely have a one in there because if we didn't have a one there, it'd be two, three. We'd already be at five too many. Um, so this is quite interesting because one of these has a four in it and one of these has a five. Can't put them both there because you'd have a nine. So this is a four or a five. Um, this is a five or a six. This is a one or a two. Let me catch up on chat. Sorry, I'm into the puzzle. Some really good, but also tough puzzles. You'd be lying if you said you remembered. Yeah, ah, oh, I understand, mate. You'd <laughs> you've done like a thousand puzzles. How would you remember? Um, oh, actually, let me pop it up for you just in case it triggers a memory. Um, you've done four of mine, actually. You have done this one, which was an early, um, whoops, spoiler alert, um, clear. This is an early region sum line called Mother Hen, which you did. And your feedback on this was like, well, uh, it was like, oh, well, it's not a bad puzzle, but you're sort of only using the region sum lines like arrows because they're only like six, seven, eight, nine. Um, then you did... Uh, sorry, this is my really badly organized spreadsheet. This one called Three Little Birdies, which is a nice region sum one. That's the easiest of the three. Oh, I'm doxing myself. Close. Close. Did I dox myself? Maybe. One second. I shouldn't... shouldn't put this on. I was under a different nickname, I think, back when I submitted these... Uh, ...ranks, so... <laughs> let me... Let me just show you the other two that I sent you, because I think it's sort of... Cool that you've done my puzzles before. Uh, I'm just going to make this window a little bit more like that so that when I put it in... Why did I put my new, real name on these like an idiot? Alright, well that's sort of not toxic me. <laughs> yeah, there was this one, which was the first um, sort of one I set, Subatomic. That's quite fun. That has a uh, a break in with um, set, but my best one, which you did, was this one, and I got a lot of good feedback for this one. Everyone in chat really, really loved it, so I was really proud of it. It's called Subatomic, um, and it has a really, really intense um, set break in. Um, the reason I the reason I created these puzzles is because you were saying like, "Geez, I wish I could set." a region sum lines puzzle with a set break in back then so i'm like i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and it took me ages but i managed to do it um 
I submitted this one to CTC. It's the only puzzle I've ever tried to submit to CTC, actually, and they didn't do it, unfortunately. I should probably try and get them to do more, but whatever. Anyway, maybe you have a vague memory of those in the back of your mind somewhere. Um, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. You do so many of these. Back to your 6x6. Six six. Ah, Fendo, please. Please don't. Please, I know I doxed myself already. I don't need your help, matey, on that. I really need to recreate. Just go through all those and recreate the links of them because I don't know why I decided. Yeah, I put my real name on them before um, I started making content. Um, so now that I do make content, I don't want to dox myself. Back when I didn't make content, I didn't really care. The name is there by, uh, on by name. Time to send your last name as a result of the semantic. Everyone knows your real name, Ranks. That ship sailed long ago. I'm not sure I actually do, but I'm sure I could find out easily enough if I wanted to know. But yeah, yeah. It's all accidental. Everyone knows Brem's name as well. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I missed your comment. You do remember these. It was a pseudonym that threw you off. Yeah. I mean, you've got dozens and dozens and dozens of people that um, have submitted. I wasn't solved with Tom back then or even Tom plays the mantle. So no wonder um, you wouldn't remember those at all. Um, let's get moving on this on this one. I sort of feel like there's something funny going on with these four fives and five sixes. If that was a five, that would be a six, that would be a one. That would be a one. Seems okay. Oh. Okay. What's the minimum that this what's the minimum that this can be now? Um it has to be a two four. Cause it can't have a one in it. We've got a one there. And if it was 2-3, then we wouldn't have two digits to put in these cells. So that is a 2-4. That is a 6. That forces this to be a 1-3. Um, that forces this to be a 1 because we have to get down to 5. Forces this to be a 6. So we did end up having... Before I said we had to have 6 in at least one of these, we had a 6 in both. Which is quite cool. Uh, we got a 1-3 pair here. Um, this one, three, four, five, can't be a three because then we'd have one, two there and then you wouldn't have anything you can put in there. It can't be a four either because then we'd have one, three here and you can't put anything in there. So that is a five. Very, very cool. Um, one, two, three, four. That means that this adds up to five, which means this adds up to five as well. So when you have, I hope that makes sense. So we've got one, two, three, four left in row one. Um, so that adds up to five and that adds up to five. Because uh, if this is one, four, this is two, three. And if this is two, three, this is one, four. Um, so that's to be just two or four because, yeah. One, four there means three there, two there. Two, three there means four there, one there. So we use up the other one and two. So we have one from one and two there. We have one from one and two there. We have a three or a four there. We definitely have a four in one of those two cells. I'm just gonna put a four in these two. Don't think we know what that is because that could still be a one or two. That could still be a five or a six. Hmm, what next? Cool puzzle ranks. Really like this. Really, really like this. Uh, let me catch up on chat. No one except your family knows your name given at birth, Toi? Well, you know, we, we'll call you whatever you want to be called, matey. People call you Sky. Nice. Yeah, it's a very, very uh, pretty name. Isabella's a very pretty name too. So is Sarah and Rhonda as well. <laughs> and Pat. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I know it's Sudoku. I know the chat isn't really into the Sudokus that much, so I'm happy for you all lot to chat by yourself while I solve this puzzle because I find it really, really cool. 
Um, I've somehow missed that we've got a 2-4 pair and a 5 there. So these are all just going to wind themselves up nicely. Uh, we have a 1-3-4 there. We have a 1-3-5 there. We have to have a 1 in one of these two cells because if we didn't, the minimum they could be is 3 and 4, which is too many. Um, so this one is now a 3. What? Oh, no. I've... I've managed to forget that I have a two somewhere. Oh, that's why. That's what I've done. I've thought that was a two for some reason, but we've got a one there. There's a three there. Two, four there. Um, three, five there. One there. Um, this has to be a five or a six now. Is a fellow with a Z. Yeah, I like the Z as well. It's cool. Joe is about as boring as name as the cats. <laughs> yeah, so is Tom, mate. I feel your pain, matey. Ranks. Your parents named both yourself and your sister from the top 10 baby names and made sure it felt the most common way. You thank them for it. It's a lot lower risk than, yeah, naming someone something. Naming a baby something a bit odd with a strange spelling, it's, yeah. I mean, the strange spelling thing is bad because it's just like every time you have to, what's your name, Isabella? With a Z or with an S. Although Isabel is usually a Z, so it's not too bad. But you also end up, you know, sometimes, you know, in 20 years, the name might be really, really weird. Weird. Isabella, you like watching it, but you don't know the rules enough to help. Well, if you ever get into it, then, um, yeah. Ranks is a series of videos called Learn to Love Sudoku that goes over the basic and strategies for classic yeah, 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 yeah. So if you are, are interested in learning, because they are really fun puzzles, Isabella, check that out. Um, you can also check out Brems. Once you do that, it's probably best to start with that. And then if you want to get a little bit familiar with the variants, then you can check out Bremster's, um, you know, problem series as well. Do you do the um, problems in Bremster's problem series ranks? I really like them. I think he makes good content there. Um but it's awesome that you've got like really, really introductory stuff uh, to help out with that. The unique spelling really, really confuses people. Oh, is, is Isabella usually spelt with an S? I didn't know that. Didn't know that. Connie's in a Facebook group called My Name is a Treasure Die. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's just like weirdly spelled names. The funniest one I've ever seen is like um, a woman called Ladasha, and it's spelled. I'll put it in chat. <laughs> it has a literal dash. That's funny. You dare me to speed run this Sudoku? Oh, mate, uh, that that ship's passed. I'm 11 minutes in. <laughs> oh, someone named their kid legally Cement. <laughs> Poor kid. Poor kid, poor kid, poor kid. Ah, oh, funny names. All right, let's get through this. Two, three, four, five here. One, two, four, there. This one's three, four, five, six. That's not very helpful. Bobby, drop table students. <laughs> Getting out the equal jokes. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. You're making a joke about if a kid's name was Drop Table just to cause every database ever to just get screwed by them. <laughs> That's funny, Ranks. That's funny. Did you come up with that one? That's very, very funny. It's a classic XKCD. Ah, okay, yeah, the internet comic. Funny, funny. <laughs> Drop Table. I work in data, so that one speaks to me. Um... Most people haven't seen the Z, so they always stuff it up. What a pain, Isabella. Cement is such a non-binary looking name. <laughs> They'll unironically name themselves the nouns from the world reword. Name talk. Name talk. Name talk with Tom. 
All right, uh, two, three, six here. That doesn't help me at all. What do we look at next? We got a five in one of those two. If we have a five there. That would be a two, and that would be a seven. So that's not likely to be correct. I'd say um, these are actually forced because otherwise we go too big. Two, three there. Four, six there. This is a four. You can have repeats on arrows, which are a bit different to cages if you're new to this stuff. So that could be two, two or one, three. Well, one looks up to the four here. Um, two, three, six left here. That's a hidden single there. That can only be a two. Um, three, six here. No two there. Oh yeah, it's all falling apart now. It is all falling apart. We have cracked our way in here. That's a three, that's a four, that's a six, that's a two, that's a three, that's a four, that's a uh, six, three, six, two. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Great puzzle ranks. When did you set this one? Really, really cool. Really cool. I know Zeta's on the, um, the six by sixes as well. I was actually gonna do one of Zeta's six by six, a region sum, but he recommended the double arrow one, which I will get to shortly. So I worked my way through, but the intended break in was to look at the minimum arrows in box three. Let me, okay, let's refresh because I'm keen to see what this intended break in was. Box three, the minimum of the arrows. So in a, in this Sudoku, the minimum you can have these is add up to 15, right? And we already said that there's a six there, so we do know that they actually add up to 15. Um, and the minimum this one can be is one, and the minimum this one can be is one. So if you add up all of these, you get 15 plus one is 16, plus one is 17. Um, which means that these have to add up to 17 or 18. 18 would be three sixes. 17 would be two sixes and a five. And we can't have three sixes because they all see each other. The only way they work is a five there, a six there, and a six there. That's how you're supposed to solve it if you're clever. <laughs> and you can see now we've got these ones and I'm guessing the solve is a lot smoother from there. But that's a cool break in. That is a cool break in. So that's like, um, yeah, to see that sort of thing, you probably have to be a little bit more familiar with this stuff. Um, maybe if I was doing it myself, I'm without getting distracted by chat, I might have seen it. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but you can see now you're just sort of away. It also forces these ones to be the minimum. So you have the one there, the one there, off to the races. I won't solve it again, but yeah, cool breaking. Cool breaking. So I'm guessing the way you set this ranks is you sort of built all of this. And then... Uh, uh, from there, the other arrows were just to sort of uh, get the puzzle to have a unique solution with a with a path that makes its way there. Awesome. Cool puzzle. Cool puzzle. Very, very cool. Nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on Sudoku, so we'll do target practice by Zetamath a little bit later. Yeah, fast solve. Yeah, it that helps me get a lot of the numbers in those uh, arrows that really sort of opened it up. So very, very cool. Very, very cool. We'll do this one by Zeta in a little bit. Alpha version of Fusel? Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, Ranks, you'll be interested in this as, as well, matey. Because Twa is making a new variant and it's absolutely nutso. <laughs> so every every line has a different rule. So she's taken rules from all these other games and put them in uh, this one where you're sort of restricted on every single line. So I'm really excited about this. I've asked for a chaos version 
And I'm holding you to this, Toi. I want the Chaos version. You need to add more rules and a ton of other stuff. Yeah. So how the Chaos version will work, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, is that every clue will be a different rule, but instead, you don't get to see what the next one is until you get to it. Maybe it's random, maybe it's not. So you're just absolutely lost and flapping about trying to solve it. Um, this is exactly the type of stuff that the big TikTokers like Michael and um, Kenny would do to us. So you might have a good chance at like getting them to play your game because they would absolutely love this, I think. I'll uh, call this... Because Kenny um, mentioned me in a recent video. Once you're done with this, I will call him out. I'll say, matey, get in on this. Get in on this. Because I reckon he'd love this one. Oh, you've never done Twas puzzles before, Ranks? They're pretty good. They're interesting. Um, some of them I like more than the others. <laughs> Don't like the shifter very much. But the threadle's pretty cool because you get a, cool, a clue um, about the meaning. Anyway, let's do this one. So the first clue is your guess can be anything except for a real word. Um, and obviously these ones, well, maybe not obviously, but these will be different every day, I think, randomized. So I'm going to be clever and figure out what vowels we are. So you can't do a real word for that one. I suggested that clue right here, right here, right here. You're not allowed to use six random letters. Um, so you can see our keyboard, um, which let me make the window a little bit better. See, our keyboard has six reds. We can't use any of those in the next guess. It might even mean that we can't guess the word. So the game is uh, very, very cruel. But let's get some more information then. Um, we, we do start with an A. Imagine if we could solve this in two. That would be something special. Um, hmm... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Anyone got a clue what this might be? Twice should challenge Michael on TikTok because he asks for challenges and he'll probably play your game. I reckon he'll play this one. I reckon he might. Auger? Works? Let's go for it. Ooh, we got. We found out where the U is. All right, so our third clue to that day is one to three are in cognito tiles so you can't see what's under them um you put your letters in we still need to guess a word but we don't know what's under them let's try album about oh uh, so the keyboard in this one i guess because ranks it gets used for some of the other clues it doesn't actually uh show that yet but maybe i can put that in album Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, we don't need the information about the A and the U there because we know they're green. We don't know about the M. Uh, now we're going to... Um, uh, what's the name of this variant? The Warmel, is it? Where orange letters is within three letters of the alphabet for the guess. <laughs> this is so mental, this version. It's so complicated. Ranks, you'd like to it to grey out letters so you've already ruled it out because you use that in Latin to solve. Yeah, I find that important as well. Um, so, Ranks, I don't know if you've seen, but I make, um, I'm doing daily solves of the Google Feudal, and this one doesn't give you a keyboard, and it just actually hurts me a lot. It makes the game so much harder not having that keyboard available. Um, I just, it's amazing that how much harder it is. A null? Ooh. I'm almost I'm almost happy that we're sort of taking our time on this one because it really gets to show off the game proper. Um, still a work in progress, but uh, yeah, awful. I hope you're not talking about the content tornado. Like the stream if you don't think it's auto. Oh, awful. Um, we can't actually guess awful yet because it's locked <laughs> in the letter S there. But we can test uh, maybe the W or the F. Can anyone think of a... 
Ah, uh, stuff it, we'll just do floss. Yeah, it is awful. This one, you don't get yellows. The only hints are letters in the correct places. Well, we don't need a matey because we figured out the word. We figured out the word. And the last one was, there's no twist, play it like normal wordle. So I think the way she's going to do it is the last guess, you'll always get a free keyboard. You'll always get a free guess because it would suck to be on your last guess and, you know, it forces an S there and you're like, what? <laughs> I, can't, I can't guess that. You like the vibes of this game, Isabella? Yeah, I'm like really, really excited for Chaos Mode where, you know, every time you're sort of restricted in a different way. If anyone, um, actually, chat, chat, why are you listening? If anyone has ideas for restrictions or rules to add to the fusel, then let Twa know now. Let Twa know now. Play your custom Samantha Fendo. Uh, all right. Sarah says, really, Tom? Really, Tom? All right, Fendo. How did you send it to me? One to three lies. Nice. Good call, Ranks. One to three lies. Maybe just one lie. Maybe just one lie. I know you like the fibble a lot, Ranks, so that's a good call. Tom, it might be my last name. Can I get a helper in chat to ver to validate this mantle before I play it? Because that is a really, really good call, Isabella. And if it is my last name, then Fando's, Fando's banned. <laughs> Fando's just... You're banned. You're banned, Fendo. Uh, Ranks, what's the link? How did you send it to me, Fendo? Did you email it or... I'm sure if you emailed it, it's gone straight to junk. Gone straight to junk. Mm, how have you sent it, matey? Is it in Discord? I don't actually see anything. I can't see anything in my emails. I can't see anything in my, my thing. Thank you, Ranks, for putting your hand up to validate this. I appreciate that. Connie wants to be a guesser. Yeah, Twa's already got this one. Joe loves the Fibble. 116 day streak. Mate, you are a masochist. I saw... Yeah, Ranks. You had a game, Ranks, the other day when I was in chat. And it was really, really, really hard. It just made me go, oh, not for me. Not for me. Last time I made the mod and they put it in chat. Well, they can either email it to me, solvatom at outlook.com, or they can send it to me on Discord. I'm not making the mod. I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. But the good news is Connie sent us a Samantle. Hooray! Connie sent us a Samantle, everybody. Connie sent us a Samantle. That's the good news. So... Collaborative four lie fibble is super fun. Four lie? Four lie ranks? Can you put the link in chat for me so I can add that to my list? Maybe we could do it. Make you mod for one millisecond? Mate. Nah. <laughs> All right, Fendo, I'll make you mod for one millisecond. It'll be added to your bot. Ah, right. This is a game you've made up. Awesome. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. All right, your mod, Fendo. Your mod. Your mod. Your mod. Uh, I just heard Sarah shut the door, so. Oh, you're inside, my love? Sorry, yeah. yeah, she's still around. No, don't do it. Um, Ranks is going to validate if this is absolute nonsense. And if it is, we just ban Fendo. Um, message retracted. I'll send you the link on Discord ranks because uh, I managed to copy that before it left. The word is fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ranks, for validating. It's not pee pee. <laughs> 
But I appreciate you making the sacrifice rather than playing together. Ronda validated as well. It's okay. If it was literally fine, I'd just take that and I'd run. Um... Uh, I think we're on... I think we're on Fendo's. Which one did I open? What a fool. Make sure to unmod Fendo. Good call. Good call. Good call. Um, let me just open yours, Connie, just to make sure I've got the right one open. And I haven't accidentally... Oh, no, I've accidentally sent ranks Connie's one. I've accidentally sent ranks Connie's one. Sorry, Fendo, we're playing Connie's one, but I'll try yours again in just a second. Google form in the stream description is a good way to take submissions. Yeah, that's a great idea. Thanks for the suggestion, Ranks. I'll get that sorted out um, after this one. Let me write that myself a note to do that. Awesome suggestion. Is that how you, that's how you take your Sudokus these days, isn't it? It's a Google form. We're playing Connie's. Sorry, Ranks, I've ruined this one for you as well. And, or did, Rhonda, did you validate it? Rhonda, did you validate this one from chat? And you said it was okay? Disorganized. I'm so confused. I'm absolutely lost right now. Disorganized, not bad. This is Connie's one. Ranks clicked the link when it was in chat. Thank you for validating that. Um, if you have the link available, Ranks, can you <laughs> message me on Discord? Because I've accidentally sent um, Connie's one. Connie, disorganized. Friend, good. Great. You're not Ogarotta, he put in a racist word. I don't think so, Fendo. How do you deal with Fendo when he's in your chat, Ranks? I'm sure you've had... Fendo or Chloe or Peter or whatever else. Are they banned from your stream? <laughs> um, xenophobia isn't racist. Oh, yeah, it's just a description. Oh, you haven't had Fendo in your chat? Um, if you've ever seen Chloe Lux Ward Tub or Warn Tub or Peter the Dog Eater or any of those, I thought I saw them in your chat once before. Um, it's all the same person, mate. It's all the same person. Um, banter, but the word itself is okay. Good to know. Self is okay. Itself is pretty good. It is. You had trolls, but you just banned them. Yeah, you've probably, I mean, you're a bit more, um, on the ball than I am. You probably had them trolling and just banned them straight away. <laughs> and that was the end of it. But me, no, I put up with them. Troll. Troll's pretty good. Trolling. Trolls. Troll. You're on one hour sub mode for chat, so it's a lot of effort to keep making new accounts. Yeah, that's clever. That's clever. If I ever get like popular enough that chat's hard to manage, I will definitely take that hint. Wonderful. Marvelous. Pathetic. Silly, stupid, creepy, idiot, <laughs> dumb, waste. You got plenty of mods? Yeah, I gotta get me. I was gonna say, I gotta get me mods. Literally everyone in chat right now is a mod except for uh, Mendo. Um, most of the, mostly I give people mod in chat just because, um, they, so they can post links for games, but a Google form's a good idea. What's my thoughts on dogs? Are you a Fendo alt? <laughs> Sam, welcome if you're not. Um, dogs are great. <laughs> dogs are great. Oh, disallowed has a bad top five words. Eww. Mistake betwixt 
Hello, Sam. How are you, matey? Welcome. We're guessing what is Connie thinking of. It's a custom word. What is she thinking of? Loveless. She likes to give us hints that are absolutely useless because that's the way Connie works, but that's all right. Awful. So far, loveless is the best so far. So far. So far, so far. We are something obscure, odd, weird, lonely. Oh. Alone. Love. Loveless is such a good hint. Wedding. Together. Apart. Partial. I spelt weird, weird. Thank you, Ransk. I'm not a very good typist, so I often spell things wrong. And I'm not a good speller, so I often spell things wrong. Remember. Vendo, you're playing with your pet worm. Mate. Mate. Let's try dog. Leg. Solitude. Dislike. Solitude. What a guess, Pat. What a guess. Solitude. So we are around, at least from what we've seen so far, we are around loneliness. Hamlet. Alone. Silence. Silence is a nice word. Silent. Solitude. Isolated. Depression. Oh, this is getting sad, everybody. Connie, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> are there any words similar or related to ogre rotters or racism, xenophobia, single? Millenarian, what? What? Millennial? Oh, I didn't spell millennial right. Isolation. Helots. Ah, oh, thank you. That's so helpful, Connie. I totally know what that word means. Depression. Seclusion. Um, together. What about family? Mm, kooks. <laughs> Kooky. You give the worst hints, Connie. <laughs> Millennial. Millennial misspelled is best so far. That's great. Friends. A helot is a member of a class of serfs in ancient Sparta. Intermediate status in status between slaves and citizens. Thank you, Ranks. Let's try slaves. Let's try slave. Let's try citizen. Uh, peon. Master. Admiral Spunky had to step out for a while. Did we ever get fish, sheep, goat? We did. We did, we did, we did. The answer was muskox. So if I always get muskoxes confused with fish, sheep, goat. <laughs> it was a bit of a tricky one today, actually, but we got there. Remoteness. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Remoteness. Wilderness. Gnostic. Agnostic, um, believer, winner, very musky ox sheep, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nutcase, oh, here we go, Connie, I was waiting for this, nutcase, here we go, matey, here we go, here we go, privacy, private. Anti dis uh no, nah, I don't want to ruin my window. Unless it's right. And then I really do want to re ruin my window. But someone else has set that word before, so I don't think it's right today. Let me just sort out my sizing again. Isolation. Ah, oh, Twas sent a billion words. As well. Hey Ranks, can I ask you, do you use um OBS for your chat or do you use YouTube as in the the um window that you look at for chat? Let's try musky. 
sheep ox. Uh, all right. Privacy Perda Sequestrian Sequestrian? Oh, sequestration. Backwards. You're coming up with some weird words, matey. <laughs> Desert. Wasteland. Ooh, wasteland. How did you get to wasteland? Good guess, though. Quarantine. You pop up live studio to chat and then use the tool to make it always on top. That's what I need. I need always on top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could I ask another favor? Oh, you've been so kind to me, Ranks, doing so much. But can you send me the name of that tool? Because I often lose chat. Which is annoying. Uh, what about, like, dump? Solitude of loneliness. It was a good guess, Twy. You helped us out a lot. Badlands? Swamp? Swampy? Uglification. <laughs> Uglification? How is that a word? Define uglification. The process of being made ugly. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. <laughs> Desolation? Nice. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a good guess. Heath. Madhouse? Sectioned? Section? Hmm. Marsh? Backwater? Good guesses, everybody. Unstable. Garbage. Cesspool. What else would it have meant? <laughs> yeah, I know, Rex. <laughs> How do you uglify someone? How do you uglify someone? Erosion. Horrible. I mean, unless it's like a horrible accident. Burnt. Buncomb. Nonsense. We are a stream of nonsense, everybody. Wastelands are ecologically unstable lands which are low in productivity and se severely affected by soil erosion. Stress conditions and hostile environmental conditions. Thank you, Twa. Discord. Oh, that's such a clever guess, Joe. Ah, oh, that is so that was such a good guess, and it sort of sort of worked. Deserted. Pinko! Makeup artists for movies uglify actors all the time. Good call. Stress. Nunnery. Charlize for Theron for that movie she made, Monster. Ah, okay. I haven't seen that one, Sarah. Mudslide. Wowzers. <laughs> Wowzers. 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 So we want a solitary wasteland, but one that isn't anything like a desert. Yeah, isn't it weird, Admiral, that desert isn't very good? Um, like a jail? Siberia? Welcome back, Tornado. Hope you had a nice meal. What do you have to eat? Um, emptiness? Everydayness? Destruction, bleakness, gloom, misery. Ah, oh, this isn't very positive. Nostrum. What is nostrum? Medicine. Prepared by an unqualified person, one that is not effective. Hmm. Medicine. Sterility. 
Ranks keeps thinking of that Simon and Garfunkel song. Hello, darkness, my old friend. We're trying to solve this word again. I will just keep on guessing. When we don't get it, I start stressing. A dystopia this stream is. Okay, I'll stop singing. Apologies, everybody. Dystopia, Sarah, 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 Sarah. You legend. Dystopian. Dystopa. Future. Dystopia. Island. Unhappiness. Spoofery. Melancholy. Good guess. I am a rock. Ah, oh, I don't guess that reference. Ranks. Do I have the right song? I don't even know if that was a Simon and Garfunkel song. Despondency. <laughs> so, uh, despondency. Tom can't spell stream. Sorrow. Grief. Humdrum. Whoa. Ate some curry. Tomorrow is your dog's birthday, so you're making cake and pizza. Wow, your dog is... You got a lucky dog, matey. Dejection. Dull. Despair is a lovely guess. Toi. Boring? I hope not. Wretchedness. Grimness. Gria. Hideous nurse. I hope not. Ah, oh, Tom. Just copy and paste, mate. Don't try and get it. Quiddity? I'm a bit behind on chat, everybody. Sorry. Anguish, but I do want to guess all your guesses. Squalor. Thraldrum? <laughs> They're very, like, um, medieval words. A lot of these ones, like that peasantry word we had before. Which is interesting. Utopia. Is the opposite of dystopia. Utopia! What? Tornado, well done. Wow, Sarah got dystopia 25 guesses ago and we didn't go the other way. All the wo close words were so negative. I thought for sure we had poor, bad connotations. Well done, matey. Applause for Tornado, matey, 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 matey. Ranks was thinking as well, but had the same thought as me, thinking, we are negative, surely. We are apocalyptics. I did sing the wrong Simon and Garfunkel song. <laughs> you were thinking of I Am A Rock, right? Uh, I thought you were just thinking of the uh, all the negative words, but I guess a lot of Simon and Garfunkel are quite negative. Well done, everybody. Well done, well done. Especially you, Tornado. Applause for you, matey. Twa also thinking there. Hand washes in chat. We do hand washes because the clap emoji is hard to find, so the hand washes is just like at the top. Um, listen to the Iron Little Rock when you have some time. I'll add that to my list. Um, I've got three things to do from ranks on my list today. It is set up a Google form for submissions, um, put my chat window always on top and listen to the rock. So we are putting those, we're getting our to-do list sorted. Sorted, sorted, sorted. All right, everybody. I'm here another 15 minutes, I reckon. Um, what does everyone in chat want to do? I can do new games. Tornadoes help some new games. Does anyone know another language that's not English? Because Twas, uh, sorry, Tornado sent me a whole bunch of word likes in different languages, and I'd love to play one into another language. Can I do the five hour stream, Twa? I would, but my throat is like really, really going um, because, um, yeah, I'm not feeling 100%. Taskmaster is a cool show. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like it's very similar to this stream in a way, I guess. Ukrainian and Russian. Twa. Do we have? I don't know if on my list I've got Ukrainian 
Wordle. We could do the New York Times mini crossword, which Frank suggested. Um, I speak English. Does that help? Um, maybe. Uh, okay, this is all in like <laughs> a different alphabet as well. Uh, your custom. All right. I did promise it, Fendo, and it, well, I'm told it's not too bad, so okay. Okay. All right. This is your custom. Let me make sure it's... Yes, this is definitely your one. Thank you, Ranks, for getting that one to me. <sighs> pee pee. Poo. Poo's good. Of course it is. Dog eater. <sighs> what is Fendo thinking? Body. Poo's good. Of course it is. Eat. Eat's not bad. Food. Um, swallow. Is it swallow? Is it um, digest? Uh, chicken. Chicken's good. Okay, maybe this isn't too bad today. Maybe it's not too bad. Beef. Maybe. Maybe. What's this submissions list? Uh, so, Admiral, um, usually I, yeah, if anyone wants me to play a game, then they can uh, just mention it in chat, but we also do custom games like this one, so sometimes people set me games, um, so if you ever want to set me a custom word that we all play together in chat, it's brilliant fun, uh, um, you can go there and make it. I won't get to it this stream, but maybe in a future stream. Warn tub, good thinking, warn tub. Worn tub <laughs> worm. Good thinking, Joe. Good thinking. Good thinking. Um, I also keep track of basically every single word or like that I've beaten here, which is what's calculating the numbers below me. So we've beaten 351, but 85 to go. It's more like 60 because I'm gonna skip a whole bunch of them that I don't want to play because they're not good content. Stick to food, yeah, food, drink. What about a beer? Bread, tomato, salad. Okay, so salad being better than tomato and better than lettuce means we're probably like a, a meal that's completed, something ready to eat, like hot dog. Joe, you are so clever, matey. Eggplant, <laughs> Isabella, you know. You know Fendo, you know Fendo. Cucumber, tornado, <laughs> no Fendo. Um, Joe is absolutely on the right track. Um, pork, sausage. Frankfurt, nice, Sarah. Ooh, sausage is even better than hot dog. Banana, anything, you know. Similar shape, perhaps, made out of meat, perhaps, meatball, rat, hamburger, rat worst, oh, hamburgers up there as well. What's something you'd eat on a barbecue, BBQ, that you cook like a hamburger, just burger, top 10 as well. Steak. Wiener. Cheeseburger. Frankfurt is a city. The hot dog is... Frankfurter. Thank you, Ranks. <laughs> I'm just... I'm happy to be out of that. <laughs> oh, Fendo, 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 Fendo. 
I hope you have a happy home life, Bender, because you seem like the type of person that might not have a happy home life. All right. <laughs> That's not a nice thing to say. Well done. Well done, everybody. What a horrible waste of time. Oh, you said add ER, but I missed your comment. And Sarah, just add the ER. Rhonda, thanks for the hint. Sorry, I did miss that one. I have been a bit slow this stream. I blame, not being on 100%, but yeah. Isabella wants the Gram Jam, yeah. Have you played this one, Ranks? I don't know if you're still around, but have you played the Gram Jam? Duo Tri Trigordal, is that 32? No, thank you. We sometimes get the creator of this game in chat um, and it's really, really cool and fun. And thank you for visiting us, Ranks. Yes. It's just sort of a drag the letter game and you just sort of have to get the letters into a word and then you've got to try and clear the whole board. Been good at home, I know it's not for you. You dox yourself. Fendo. Fendo, be nice, matey. I played your game. All right. I played your game, so play nice or you'll get the ban again. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can do fruity in two moves. We can do drifts in two moves. Rosary in one. Let's do rosary. You like Gram Jam, but you don't know how it's scored. Ah, uh, well, there's actually um, two modes now. So you might have played the original mode, Ransk. Um if you haven't played the daily, I really like the daily better. But basically, you're trying to get it all in 10 swaps. Oh, you do play the daily. You're trying to get it all in 10 swaps. And then for whatever the um, leftovers you have, you get... So let's say you're down to a W and a H and you can't make a word. You'll get hit two points for that one and H points for that one. Um, oh, you don't like how it's scored. Oh, sorry. For some reason, I read no with the K and the how. Um, yeah, I don't know. The feedback I've given Cole, who makes this, is that um, he shouldn't have twos and threes on the tiles because these are already hard letters. You're already incentivized to get rid of them as soon as possible um, and that they should all just be one point per tile is what I've told him. He's got two more game modes in the... Uh, in the works he's got a blitz one which is like timed and then he's gonna do like a daily puzzle one which i'm really excited about so it's sort of like this mode but it has sort of a curated single solution path um and it's really sort of clever how he's putting those together so i'm excited to try that one out um yeah sometimes the words aren't in the dictionary well i've got him working on something so let's say you didn't know if a rude was a dictionary word. What he's going to do, or what he's pom promised me to do, is to make it so that when you drag this, you'll it'll actually highlight the word down to say that it's a word. So it's not going to solve all your problems, but it does help a lot. Because now, I don't know if a rude's a word. It's not a word. We get screwed. The only reason I still went with it, because I know we could save it with a lewd. Um, we can do drift there. Willy with one. Oh, sorry, tornado. I was a bit too quick on that one. We could use up the G and a H if I put the G there, but we'd still have three moves to get the word. Hmm. Geode in two. What are we for vowels? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight vowels out of 20. Geo would use three vowels. That's a bit too many vowels for my liking. Worn in two. <laughs> Isabella. The problem Ranks has with the scoring is you see it and you have no idea if you did well or not. Well, you get three stars or two stars or one star, depending on... Um, how well you do so you do get scored that way but 
It's certainly, um, it'd be nice if he had a pop-up that sort of said like what everyone's average score was that day because, yeah, some days I think it's impossible to get a four. It's just like such a hard board and then some days it's pretty easy. Fendo got banned from Puzzle Plaza. You probably deserved it, matey. You probably deserved it. I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Not saying you did. Just saying you probably did. You probably did. All right. Geode and two. Um, I don't want to use three vowels because we've only got eight out of 20 vowels left. I'd prefer to use two if we could. If we can't think of anything better, I will do it. But um, I'm not too sure. If we can get something going in column four, we'll get font for free. Is trillion not a word? Uh, in this game, Admiral, it has to be, it has to take up an entire column or row. So, so we need a five letter word across or a four letter word down. Front in two. Yeah, we do have two Fs, so it would be good to get rid of one of them. Let's go for it. I did do geode. What are we left with? D E F I W R H L T I. We could do fight in a few different moves. Long nose filter, fi please. Oh, Fender, mate. Mate, mate, mate. I will put on a filter because I like the filters. And they're going away soon, unfortunately. Um. So we won't be able to do filters for too much longer. But uh, there we go. I got a dog and head. Dog and head filter. So stupid. <laughs> Time machine. Look. Oh, wow. Baby Tom. Old man Tom. That's amazing. That's weird. That's weird. I look like my dad. Let's keep baby Tom. <laughs> this isn't how I looked like as a baby, but we will uh, <laughs> mess about with this stuff a bit. Mess about. I look like I'm at, I look like my what? 80, I do now. Eight? 80. Eight? I oh, know, I'm just going eight, eight, 80. I'm dragging the thing up and down. All right, uh, yeah, that one's scary. That one's scary. Oh my God. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's filter with this one on. <laughs> Finish with this one on. <laughs> wow, terrible, awful. Awful, awful, awful. Has anyone solved this for me yet? <laughs> Admiral, you're trying too hard. Yeah, well, you just need to understand the rules. And then you'll uh, get it going. I could have had font for free. Mm. Now that one is creepy. I look like Momo. Oh. Must have repeat rule and diffusal. Just as many rules as you can get, toi. We'll make it really, really fun. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six out of 15 vowels. So about a two to one at the moment. I could do die, fight, stuff it, geode. Let's see what happens. I've managed to leave myself with five consonants. Good job, Tom. Well done, matey. Excellent solve. You called out why that was a bad move. And then you just did it. That's the type of content and quality you get. Watch and solve a Tom, everybody. <laughs> uh, what a fool.
Let's, can I at least get rid of a couple of these letters? Fur and high. All right, let's try to get that working. So if I move that there. Oh no, I've gone the wrong way with this. Oh, stuff it. Let's just take our medicine, everybody. Oh, too terrible. Shocking, bad, awful. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh, the filter's still on. This is how I feel about that solve. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is a filter, by the way, everybody. I'm not actually sad. I'm not actually sad. At least it's two stars. Yeah, we got one star last time. We ruined our streak of three and above. Anyway, back to normal, Tom. Thanks, everybody, for joining. My throat's starting to go, so I better... Better, 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 better... Um, call it right there. Uh, tornado next stream will definitely start to work our way through some of those new ones. I will, um, clean up my spreadsheet a bit. Um, thank you everybody for joining tornado, Twa, Joe, Rhonda, Isabella, Spunky, even you Fendo a little bit, I suppose. Ransk. Um, I think I've gotten everyone that was talking. Connie, Rhonda, Pat, Sarah. I think that's everyone. Thanks again, everybody. Make sure to like the stream if you haven't already. Uh, I got to film some more shorts today. More long form content soon. Check that out. I think I'm going to see if ChatGPT can help me get a job. That'll be weird. We'll see. <laughs> um, and I'll be back uh, for my regular stream on Wednesday or Tuesday night, your time. Thanks again, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>